Welcome back, everybody, for another episode of Harry Potter's Grape Ape Snape Escape. I'm Rocky <laughs> Smile here with Alpaca Patrol and Last Grey Wolf. How's it going? Okay, so here's what I want to know: Is it is is Snape riding a grape ape? Well, I, we haven't even really gone over what a grape ape is, but is he riding that grape ape? Whatever your little heart desires is what's going on in that imagination. I hope that, that I he is. I really hope that he is writing a great You gave ape. me very little time to work on this one, Rob, so I had to just really wing it. so fucking stupid. I was like, oh, I wonder if my... I wonder if I can... We, we just recorded a different episode where we had to restart because I couldn't click on anything. So I was like, oh, let me see if I can click on stuff now. And I just clicked keep hand instinctively. I have I have one land, so let me just get that out of the way. <laughs> All right, you lost. That's my only land, guys. Sorry. Oh, it's not even a land, really. No, it's not. I'm fucked. <laughs> Hi, boys. <laughs> I was just trying to see if it worked, but I forgot about the consequences of clicking buttons in this game. Yeah, all right. All right, well... It's the game has trained you at this point to believe that some well most of the time clicking buttons usually just doesn't result in any consequence <laughs> since it's already crashed by the time you click them. I and hope Wizards of the do. Coast doesn't actually watch our series because we fucking flame the shit out of this game all the time. <laughs> what are we gonna lose? Like we're yeah, just being guess, honest. Yeah. We are being honest. Like, you had to we're not this. making shit up. This is just the way it goes. <laughs> Oh my god. I've never had to discard that fast before, but I did. That is great. <laughs> that is oh great, man. Mate. Bait, great. Oh fuck. I mate. lost. I <laughs> fucking too. lost. I have no fucking lands anymore. Oh There's no great need great to call mate. the game. Just let it go. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. Do you want to build a snowman, guys? Because I, I do. I kind of want to. I, that's something that I've only ever gotten to do twice in my entire life, so... I've never built a snowman. You live in the north, and you Whoa. haven't built a fucking snowman? I live in New York. The thing is, if I wanted to build a snowman, do realistically, you? realistically, I'd have to go to Central Park to build a snowman, and I'd have to do it within, like, five or six hours of the snow falling, Otherwise, because, like, New York is beautiful. In the wintertime, New York City is beautiful. I think the city is just, it looks incredible and magnificent and majestic when it's snowy. Um, but the thing is, after about five or six hours, that majestic beauty turns into sloshy fucking garbage water snow pink. Yeah, because the sewer nasty. heat is all heating up everything and everything just melts from underneath. Yeah, it's, it's not, it's not good. The ground is hot in New York City most of the time. The ground is lava in New York City, actually. Really? I don't I like know if you that. that. Can't walk on the ground. It's lava. It's pretty, it's pretty hot. Right, walk under lost. the ground. You can walk under the ground sometimes, yeah. yeah. Does that not freak you out that there's just all the time there's just giant tubes of metal flying around underneath the sidewalk? That makes me feel Dude, awkward. there there are there there are homeless communities that live in unused subway tunnels now. Yeah. There's a whole documentary about this city. Isn't that exciting? This homeless people city that exists in the old Grand Central Terminal Station. There's a homeless people city that That's lived there. Like mole crazy. men. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? It's like something out of a comic book. But it's for real. <laughs> it's an actual thing. I bet there's a comic book where that is actually a thing. I don't doubt that at all. The secret homeless society? Some of them are superheroes? That'd be <laughs> that would cool. be fucking sweet. There, I'm sure there's at least three homeless men pissing into a bag in there. <laughs> oh, Just no. bringing that right around. <laughs> that, uh, Probably no one will understand that joke. That was brought so far around. I, I, I'm i looking the other direction at this point. I'm waiting for it to come back again. A little case of the old whiplash, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Watch. Uh, was that, are you starting the Samurai Jack uh, soundtrack? <laughs> it was a whip. Watch out. It was really specific. Pound Holy Jack. shit, a lion. Pounds is a Jack Samurai Jack. Watch out. Watcha. Doesn't it just say back to the past over and over again? Um, I think it just says Jack over and over again. It's like Jack, 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 Jack. What are you doing? Yeah, you're right. Doing I that? I don't. I have fucking nothing else to do. Jerk. So. What a lazy way to write a song. <laughs> Jack, yeah, to just really. say Jack. the main character's name over and so, over. Again. So we really need you, uh, <laughs> our songwriter guy who wrote for Dan Rydak. We need you to make a song. All right, it needs some catchy lyrics. You know, good tune. Uh, go ahead and work real hard in it. Uh, we'll cut, bring it back what you got to me in a, in a couple days. You know, you bring a sample or something. <laughs> you know, and then uh, we'll see what you, what you got. The whole later. thing with the, with the intro though is that like uh, that yeah that sound the the music 
I still think it's awesome, but it is super lazy. But at the beginning, you have the whole Aku monologue. Yeah. It's like, a powerful evil. And I flung him into the future where my evil is law. Oh, man, you, I'm surprised you remember that. I was, just, yeah, I was trying to remember it. I couldn't, I couldn't. It's a fucking amazing show. That is like one of the best cartoon shows ever made, in my opinion. <laughs> it's like he just forgot to write the song and he came back on the day he needed to show it. And he was like, uh, well, it's like, J his name's Jack, 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 <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. Yes, yeah, it's, it's good, right? Okay, I'm totally getting this imagine, like this uh, image in my head of like a crackhead or something. <laughs> and he like, he took the paperwork and he's just kind of shaking as he walked out of the door. And then he comes back a few days later. He's got the same clothes on. He smells like ass. And he's got the same papers in his hand, but they're all crumpled to shit now. <laughs> and he just, like, doesn't have a clue what the whole assignment even was. And the guy's just like, so what did you have for me? He's just like, J -j 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 Jack, J -j -j Jack, 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 Jack. <laughs> like, he just smoked a lot of crack, didn't he? And they're like, <laughs> and they're like it's <laughs> great. Let's print it. <laughs> <laughs> the, um... Actually, uh, speaking of laziness, though, like how, the, like you could even go even farther and say what a lazy way to name a fucking character too, because like the whole spoilers on the first episode of Samurai Jack. Oh, but when here he we gets, go. <laughs> but when he gets flung into the future, <laughs> he doesn't have a name. He's just like the nameless samurai, and like a guy comes up and was like, "Yo, Jack, what's going on?" And like, and they just keep calling him Jack. So he's like, "Apparently, my name is Jack." So then his name is just Samurai Jack from that point on. He doesn't have a name. It's not really his name. His name's not Jack. What is this? Ordeal That's weird. of the word Harvard Bear. What does that do? Oh, you did a thing? Oh, oh okay. Yeah, I, I tapped him hoping that you would think that I shouldn't attach an aura to him, but that clearly didn't work. Oh, he's Nimbus Wings, but he didn't <laughs> put it on... Wait. They're just Nimbus things. Don't worry about it. You didn't put it on the aura guy, though. The what? Why? Because it gives you more you know, dragon. That's okay. More dragon. Maybe you have other ideas. Yeah, it's a, oh. I think it's Jack, an Jack, 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 use of the card. Yeah, I agree. Jack, 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 Jack. That thing's Sorry, so real catchy. Yeah. Jack, 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 Jack. What is that? Jack, 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 Jack. Jackalodeon. That's Nick. It's just the old Nickelodeon. You guys remember <laughs> Face? Like. Was, yeah, was Nick that Jr. was Nick Jr. Man, yeah, that Nick wasn't Jr., just Nickelodeon. Yeah. Well, I know it's yeah, I know it's Nick Jr. But it's still Face. Never watched Nick Jr. There was also a stick oh. at one point, wasn't there? Or a toothpick or something? Or a, you might be thinking of Ed, Ed and Eddie. Obstacle stick? Blank. No, I'm not thinking of Ed, Ed. I'm thinking of when they did... Uh, There's a puppet show for a while. And one of them was like a, made out of a popsicle stick or something. Hmm. It was a big... Stick Stickly, man. Oh, I stick, still don't stick, know. Stick Stickly. Stick Stickly, stick, that's what stick, I'm trying to say. River Stick oh, Stickly. Sickly riding down the... Sickly Stickly. Sickly Sticklerson. Stickly, stickly is sick in the sickly. Sick. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. Who the hell thought that was a good idea? So we got like popsicle sticks here. We'll just make a show about that. <laughs> well, that's not as bad as like what's that one? Uh, it's like Ubi or whatever the fuck it is, where where it's just like the hands talking. Ubisoft. You know what I'm talking about? No, yeah, Ubisoft. No, it's just it's like the hands. Lazy, really. It's it's like like straight up. It's a children's show. And it's the it's maybe the worst children's show that they could ever show to children. And there's a psychological basis for this that I will not go into. But essentially, show to children. it's it, like it's it's a bunch of hands and they talk gibberish. They say like, oh, grandpa, oh, do 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 do, and they like kind of talk, but they talk like gibberish baby talk. Serious. And and it <laughs> and it's bullshit though because you can't teach kids, you can't be New teaching tricks. kids English and you can't be teaching them fucking gibberish English. But yeah, essentially. I assume that would probably make their lives harder, going to school and stuff, learning gibberish, yeah? It is, mm -hmm. yeah, it absolutely is. Man. So, like, why do they think that was a good idea? Don't they have some sort of civic responsibility to teach children <laughs> not garbage? Yeah. They, they should, but then again, I think uh, most cartoon shows for children are uh, are handled with a mostly hands-off attitude, if unless it's showing, like, you know, boobs or something, because... Like Adventure Time is still is kind of marketed as a kid show, when it the moral, like the moral um, climaxes of the show oftentimes are like really bad for kids. Wait, have anyway. you watched enough Adventure Time that you can talk about Adventure Time now? Oh, we yeah. could be talking about Adventure Time more. Adventure often Time then. is fantastic. I've, I've I've watched Adventure Time for a long time actually. 
Mission time's great. Why but didn't Why didn't I know that? I don't know. That's I like really time. important. Yeah, I fucking love Adventure <laughs> Time. Adventure Time's great. But um, no, yeah, the uh, uh, what do you know an example of a bad moral? Yeah. That so there's this one episode actually that I was gonna the, the thing that I was gonna use as an example is uh, when um. When Jake and Finn, they decide that, like, maybe we shouldn't solve our problems with violence all the time because that's something that we tend to do. Like, we, we tend to just right. know, beat up our problems. And then they go through the whole episode trying to solve their problems passively, and they fuck everything up. And then at the end, like, I think Finn literally says that, like, uh, let's just solve violence with all our... Let's like, solve all our problems with violence instead. It's so much easier. <laughs> it's just like, wow, that's definitely <laughs> bad for kids. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> you know, I wanted to figure out a way around that message, but I, the only way I can do it requires you to be an adult, so yeah, <laughs> exactly, I guess you're just yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. What just happened? Why did the, the fire? Yeah, he's got uh, the, the dragon. dragon. Yeah. Mm. Forced, the dragon forced. Hurts for you walls. Know, I was going to get all salty about that, then I realized I, I took a hand with one land, so this is like I completely my fault. <laughs> you deserve that, yeah. Yeah. Entirely. Oh, Although it seems that Nick has got a fantastic start, so I don't think he was that yeah, good. He's looking pretty good for Nick. Well, when I took this hand, I actually thought that I was in a terrible position, but I got kind of lucky with the land draws after that, so it kind of worked itself out. Mm. Yeah. I do think there's actually got to be some good examples of kids' stuff in Adventure Time, though. I'm just struggling to come up with any good examples. I'm sure there is, yeah. There's, well, like, the, the general all. premise of the show is, like, you know, bros look out for bros. Yeah. Kind of made that a big deal, and also there's a lot of like deep emotional stuff that goes on in that show. So I think a lot of it would just go over kids' heads, and I wonder, depending on who you are and like what your background is, if you would just watch that show kind of passively and be like, "Oh, look, pretty song. I like the lights and colors," right. and not really think too hard about it. I know I did that with certain shows as a kid, like Ren and Stimpy. That show's fucked. Yeah, that show that show was really not supposed to be for but kids I didn't at all, though. But I did take messages away from Ren and Stimpy because I knew it was fucked. Even yeah, as a kid. that's true. No, no, I mean, it's totally true. I'm just saying, I, I was just saying to the point of, um, of like, they're mostly hands-off about, because this goes yeah. back to that Ubi show with the hands. It's like, you know, it's just like, I think they're mostly hands-off about, like, what a show is actually saying. I love that your example of being hands-off is a show about hands. <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah, I didn't realize that. <laughs> It's an excellent point. Yeah, they were, they fucking, they just had, it's like the most fucking bullshit show because it's, why me? I have to or I die. Me? Yeah. Why? Sorry, I have He's to. trying to curry some favor. Haven't you ever played CK2, man? <laughs> Calvin Klein 2, the sequel? No, if Nick's just going to kill the 1-1 one, one and I don't get anything, so I have to get some life here or I'm going to die. I also have literally nothing else to play, so... There's that too. Might as well use what you got. Right. Smoke him if you got him. That's what Will Smith always said yeah, in Independence Day. He does that a lot, yeah. Sorry. I'm still gonna die, actually. Yeah. Yeah, so you just fucked me on your way out, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Weird piece of garbage. You weird piece of garbage? Yeah, I, didn't call, I didn't call you weird, but I could call you weird. <laughs> you weird piece of garbage, you. What's like a strange piece of garbage that you might find? That's like out of the ordinary. Uh, that's, that's not... Like a moon rock, maybe would be in your garbage. Oh, I wouldn't expect that. Yeah, that'd Dude, be really there was weird. a moon rock in my garbage. I'd actually be super excited. Yeah, but you wouldn't be able to tell it apart from regular rocks because it's just a rock. A rock yeah, it's kind of moonish though. Doesn't rock it have a little sock. moonish aura. Doesn't that would be really hover? cool if it. Yeah, that'd be fucking sweet if it did that. But I don't think so. Like I remember people. people I think. Um, I think. I forget who. I think because Dennis used to be like heavily into eBay stuff, and I think he knew a guy that like sold a rock and said it was a moon rock for like three hundred dollars or something. Wow. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is that the end of the story. Yeah. No, that's, that's it. That's the whole thing. Yeah. It's real shitty. <laughs> yeah, you can just yeah, you can just fucking do that because it's just a rock. I saw an article. Somebody was talking about how they found on eBay someone was selling a Cheeto. A spicy mm. Cheeto that was in the shape of the Ebola virus. Hmm. For twenty dollars. <laughs> that's uh. It's that's just like a squiggly kind of spicy Cheeto, and that was the whole story. Yeah. Well, there was that what, one lady who found Jesus in was it was it her toast? Dude, there's people have found that's Jesus in everything. There's actually toasters now that make Jesus's face beyond the <laughs> toast. 
Jesus's face beyond the toast. <laughs> that should be a fucking movie. Is what that should be by Mel Gibson. <laughs> Jesus's face. Beyond Jesus's the face toast. colon beyond the toast. Beyond the toast. That is actually he turned that stupid joke thing into a thing I could actually see being a real thing on Netflix. <laughs> There's some quality lols in here a little bit. There's some quality lols that are happening right now. <laughs> Maybe even a lel. Do you want to let that them. go? A couple of them, yeah. Holy shit. Lay okay. lel. I'm sorry, that was good. <laughs> when the internet gets funny enough, it becomes slightly French. It does, <laughs> just a little bit, yeah. Yeah. I got another one. See, you're fine. Yeah, you're I got another fine. one of those. La, 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 well, that's why, that's why la, I killed la, that la, one, la. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. La, 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 la. I, I, I actually didn't hurt you at all, because you couldn't even be, play that one anyway. Yeah. He's legendary, so you can't have two, so... In the end, I, I actually ended up just helping myself. Just help yourself, Austin. I'm gonna Wait, help myself. It's a legendary, so I can't have two? How can I have two of them in my deck? Uh, it's in it's case good. one of them gets killed. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I, ha I had two of them in my hand from, like, the first thing. Oh, oh no, that works for my own cards? Wait, oh, wait, what just happened? I don't know. You attacked me, and you hit me with the the extra damage that the oh, dragon was. Oh, I see now. So I thought that was. It, it looked like my card went away. Oh, no. I, okay, so I killed... So that's what happened. When I switch a rude, I switch a rude your Timberland... My Timberland guide <laughs> with your thing. Switch oh, you killed your I own killed card my own thing, in my... Yeah. Yeah, on your, in, my... in, in your yeah, exactly. World and it moved to my graveyard, world. and I was like, "What the fuck?" The fuck? The yeah, and if I kill your five happen? five, I bet it'll come back to my graveyard. It's just real weird. Oh, oh look, look at this. Hey, oh, hey, man. I got four life. I ain't lasting that long, right? <laughs> Says who? Says me, man. That's what I say. Hey, oh. Who wants to team up here? <laughs> Are you stupid? I wonder. Are you stupid? <laughs> sorry, that was a sing sing. I did a little sing sing there. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, say I had a switcheroo. If Let's I say switcheroo. That you might just have that. If, sure. I, if, if I switcheroo the Baneslayer Angel and, and Austin. And you kill dies, me, it will disappear. Absolutely. It will disappear. You're absolutely sure about that? Absolutely sure. Okay. Cards that are from a deck that is out of play do not exist anymore. Okay. Austin, you want to team up? <laughs> I'm gonna be completely neutral with my four HP. That's not surprising at all. But hey, apparently Rob has a switcheroo, so I don't have a switcheroo. I said if I did have a switcheroo, you have one. You have probably three of them in your hand right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That'd be great if I had three switcheroos in my hand. So logically, you'd want to take the four five since Nick's gonna last a lot longer than I am. Because if you take my Blaine Slayer, Blaine Player uh, Angel Slayer, hey, uh, you're, you're, gonna... you're operating under the perspective that I have this switcheroo card. You have a switcheroo. You I don't can't necessarily have a switcheroo card. You have card. six cards in your hand. You have a goddamn switcheroo. We all know it. I don't know if that's true. I'm gonna go watch the video if, if it. I mean, but well, you're gonna play it here in a second anyway, so. I don't know if Just... that's true. So now is Rob's uh, spite level high enough to make him not play his switcheroo here if he wants to? <laughs> Hey, I, I said, I mean, you know I have multiple switcheroos in this deck. That doesn't mean I have one in my card, in my hand, you of you six have. cards. You have a switcheroo. I just burped. Nice. Burped out a little bit of Chinese food, actually. Just Holy awful. hell. Why? Mm, that makes sense. Does it? Mm-hmm. Does it? Does it? Mm -hmm. uh... Wait, does it? Oh shit, that's the. I die there in that situation, so I have to kill my own creature or I lose. Okay. Actually, that's not true. In fact, I'm totally fine. I'm gonna game life. <laughs> you got the link Excuse of life? <laughs> it's got life link, you nerd. <laughs> really should start reading these cards. <laughs> you should start reading the cards. And I got a 4 4 now, too. You got a 4 4 flyer guy. I do! Bill Nye the Flyer guy. Suddenly, fight two HP on a card. Fly, fly, fly. From my <laughs> perspective, you were dead no matter what you did there. Really? With, I mean... Without the reading the lifelink part. Huh. <laughs> you did not go through the options properly there then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you were supposed to kill the pitch burn devils and then I was going to do three damage. Yeah. Oh, I don't want that to happen. Even if that did happen, I'd still be alive because of the lifelink. 
Yeah, but not before the lifelink. When, oh, once you have the lifelink, the then everything's thing. different. Yeah, lifelink happens simultaneously. No, you didn't have lifelink in my head. Oh, and you okay. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, there's no lifelink there. You just kind of turned that on out of nowhere. Yeah. Oh, he's not. Space. No, he's not. Nope. All right, what's that? He's going to save the creature he wants to take with his switcheroo. Out fin wrapper flying and evolve. All right. At this point, you should really take Austin's creatures. Don't take my creatures. He's got a 5-5 five, five first strike flying lifelink protection from demons sure. and dragons. You guys keep the same thing and then I have the switcheroo card. I don't have a switcheroo card. Switch it already and then we asking, can put it behind us. Just asking a question whether or not I had a switcheroo card. Was this... Oh, you have two of those now! I have two of them now! There's two of those! Ah, two of them. That's a lot of them. So good, nerd. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm back in the game here, unless for whenever you switch a route, then I'm not going to be in the game, but still. Well, Austin. The question's you... hanging in the air. When will Rob use his switch <laughs> a switch through that he has? It's a pregnant Austin. pause. Why'd you do that? Well, I did it. The Why pregnant pause that? is fully dilated. Because I just wanted to thin out your uh, ranks, you know? It's not so you'll be less. That was the sigh of I'm going to use switcheroo that I just heard there. That's what that was. <laughs> mm. It's a classic sigh right I there. I don't know. I think I know. I think I know. I don't know, man. You know, you could you could have you could have blasted into Nick. I even tapped out his flying creature. I five damage to him, and instead I just killed one. You would have got you would have got the the thing anyway. He's such a big baby. All right. Look, man. Okay, okay, wait. Can you pull cards from your graveyard, Rub? What? Can you pull cards from your graveyard? I don't think so. I don't think I have anything that does that. Because then you definitely have a switcheroo. Yeah, that would be... But you already have a switcheroo, so it's not like we need to <laughs> pretend that you need... The question is, how many switcheroos does he have? <laughs> this has two more switcheroos. <laughs> is it just the one, or is it up to three? I don't know anymore, man. Yeah... I think it's three. Awesome. All signs point to three. Like, there it is. <laughs> why, why, I mean, like, I didn't have to do that to you. <laughs> you were going to do it. No, I didn't sad. have to do it to you. Well, Austin, you just got that sweet 1-1 one, one card. I did. I wish it would let me draw a fucking card. At least I'd get something in return, but no. Nah. doesn't work like that, man. <sighs> you do a lot with a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, that's true. <laughs> You do a lot with a zero zero. Look at this card, Switcheroo. It's a sorcery. Switcheroo, no, yeah. <laughs> there's there's switch. nothing. I switched the ruse. He has no more kangaroos. Don't exist. It's anymore. like a shell game. Yeah. Two, kangaroos sit on an egg and then you rotate them in a circle until you don't know which one has the egg and which doesn't. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's true, man. Why don't Suck the chicken the butts crack the eggs when they sit on them? Oh, God. So just in case you do have something that can get rid of the switcheroos. It's got to be the feathers. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, Austin. Let's make, let's make sure you don't. You really to wanted it. to make me your enemy. Dude, you're always my enemy. Don't act wow. like this. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fine. Nick's been blasting on you the whole game, and you switch targets to me. I'm not afraid of Nick anymore, man. I have evolved. If I attack Nick right now, will we, will we be friends again? Mm, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, we even, if we even think out that the means health. anything, <laughs> he's gonna agree to whatever you ask yeah. him. I agreed, Rob. We're friends again. I could have done that to you. You've been very low. Nick might have been able to kill you. That's true. That's a good point. Instead, I was I evened it out. There you go. Mm -hmm. I held my. It does look pretty even being at eleven with thirteen and sixteen as the other <laughs> options. <laughs> Fucking angelic accord. <laughs> Fucking hate that card, <laughs> especially when you have two of them. Oh my I'm just God. so happy they didn't fucking die like instantly like they usually do. I wish I had a bayonetta card. I beat up your angels' assholes. <laughs> <laughs> That's real good. Oh fuck! Shoot you with my damn high heeled gun. Shoot me with your high heel. Boop 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 boop. Shoot me with your high heels. Ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da. Uh, uh, shit. You never hear her do that in the game. <laughs> it's true. I like that song. I want to. I want to play that song. 
<laughs> polymorph. Oh, yeah. You know, the part of Bayonetta's hair that covers her butthole must smell oh. terrible all the time. <laughs> I completely agree. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Anybody ever think of that? What the fuck, Nick? What? <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> I just realized, like, her hair is her suit. And then in the beginning of the game, she bends over and shows her butthole. It's like, that's hair. All right, Nick. What? We lost. However, we have an opportunity right now. Yeah. There's an opportunity. I am going to deal at least five damage to Austin. Okay? If you Do can I look deal... like I can finish that? Well, yeah, you, you can. Because if you can deal the rest of the damage... Where from? Then where do I get die. that damage? Well, just attack him with everything. And leave myself completely vulnerable. Well, I, I don't have anything. I can't, I can't hit you with anything. I'll hit you. I got nothing. Oh, you killed your own 1-1. One, one. How could you? Yep. How... Austin has a turn before me. How do I help with this? Well, because he's probably going to kill me. Or you, or whatever. You well, just we gained just five lives, this... you nerd. I can't kill you. We just uh. discussed our plans in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that part. Are that part aware? is clearly that part's clearly a you know a main factor in the in the problem with the plan. But you know what? The rest of the plan is pretty good. I think. I think that part that we just went over is a pretty big part. <laughs> it's a pretty essential part to the plan, I'd say. We need to have a divergent Skype call off to the side. I think you're right. Yeah. I'll just type to you in, in our own thing. Oh, he'll never and Austin's hear. not saying anything. He has four cards in his hand at full mana. That's scary to me. Is it? He's thinking about the like, thing I'm most scared of though something. is that Skype crashes and then. He goes, okay. <laughs> uh, but I wish that one thing worked out for me. The stupid uh, the stupid uh, Jalira Master Polymorphus fucking gave me an Elvish Visionary. Like thanks game. I don't know what else it could have done, but well, I wonder where that's going. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, has Austin still not made another deck yet? Nope. No. Why? Um, that's an excellent question, Nick. Yeah, it is. Oh, Chad, do you know why he hasn't list. made one? I commenters? I, I keep calling my commenters my chat now. I can't stop it. I stupid. do that too, actually, all the time. Like, Chad, what do you feel about that when I'm doing, like, an Isaac video? <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Nick, he's tapped out. Are you sure? Yeah, you have zero... Are... You, have, you have three cards in your hand, and you have zero lands. But are you sure, though? Yeah, I'm absolutely sure. How have... sure are you? you have... Oh, because well, you I'm have not. that thing, yeah. <laughs> well, that's fine, though. He has only two. Yeah, but they are enough, man. He has only two, and he has 15 health. Yeah, but you could still deal a lot of damage you to him. You know what I have, Rob? Nick, I have a planes. Nick, if you, Nick, Nick, Nick. <laughs> if you attack him with everything, he will kill two of your creatures, but then I can kill him on the next turn. Yeah, listen to him, Nick, so Rob can win. No! I kill. I, if I kill Austin on the next turn, I'm tapped out. Oh, Dad, you also have four cards. Well, yeah, so what? So I don't what? have any instants in this, in this deck. I don't have any awesome. instance in this deck. This you is know, the only chance that you have to live, and the only chance that I have to live as well. That's not Every, even true at all. <laughs> that is Everything in true. me says that this is a terrible idea, and I'm going to do it anyway, but not yeah. because I want to be friends with Rob, but because... Well, I do want to be friends with Rob, but that's not <laughs> what I mean. Uh, but because I just want to do the opposite of the thing I always do, which is just, like, don't listen to anyone or do anything. Well, that's, why don't you just kill point. Rob, and then fight me later? <laughs> because you will fucking murder him. If you have fucking eight thousand flying creatures. <laughs> yeah. You Austin. could, you have uh, with the with the flying creatures that you have right now. You could kill him if this was turn one. Like if he had. It's not like that 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 you're making a deal with Rob to win. Nick. That's that's a little slimy. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not trying to win. <laughs> you're gonna win. He's sacrificing himself. You're gonna kill him on the next turn. He just said that. Oh, he did. I stopped listening. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's well, probably as long not as you understand, but you, but he's you probably just... gonna kill me instead. What? No. He's probably no, just gonna kill be... me. That would be a bad He's idea. Gonna kill me. Yeah, I, I have to kill Austin. Thanks, Nick. You <laughs> traded away your friendship for a win. I hope you're happy. Winning's pretty important, man. That's how you get cards. It's a little dirty. It's a little dirty. Rob's Rob's playing second place again.
I'm not necessarily playing second place. You're absolutely playing second place. No, I have. That's what I was talking about. He's I have just the kill ability. Me. No, I have the ability to stay alive potentially. Do you? Because if you tap up with your flyers, you're dead. Okay, you're dead. You die next no. time. No, 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 no. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. I'm fine. Watch. Are you? I'm fine. Just you watch, my friend. Are you? Yeah. Okay. Realize what you've done, Nick. <laughs> I don't actually believe what's happening is actually happening. It doesn't seem to work that way. That's how it works. Like, That's ever. What you do. You make a deal with the Rob. Make also, a deal your best with the Rob. Rob is my card. So, like, come yeah, on. that's that's a good point. He's um, lost your fucking Bane Slayer, too. That's five. Three. What's three plus two? That's five. That's not enough. Okay. So I can do. You... Six. I can do this. And I can do this. And I'm alive. I live. <clears throat> if he attacks me with everything, I live. Really? Yeah, and he's tapped out. I don't want to be tapped out. Alright. What do I do here? Let's figure it out. It's a I good, have a limited amount of time. It's a good question. Well, he can attack you because you're 3-3, three, three, so I would just attack him with your flyer. Yeah, you could do that. And then he can't attack, you just kind of win eventually. Yeah. But there's a chance for me, whereas there wasn't a chance before. No, I mean... There's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Whereas uh, I do I do the immediate thing, or do I do the long-term thing? <clears throat> Whatever I pick will be the wrong decision. Guarantee it. <laughs> You haven't even made the decision yet in the chat. Their comments are already telling you how to do I it. I know. They've already posted the comment. They know. They know. It sucks that I lost my Bane Slayer Angel, though. It's your Bane Slayer Angel, <laughs> right? Switcheroo, baby. Switcheroo. Oh, no. What is this? Oh, that, that gets rid of that. That's exiled. Oh, no. That's not good. Um, He's gone. You're, uh... You're alive, though. I am alive, yeah. That's that's true. But I... Uh, whoa. All right. Now, here's my question. Yeah. Six plus five is 11. All right, so I have to block one of these. That sucks. All right. Well, so my thinking was get rid of the big baddie that keeps coming back forever. That's a very good Whereas, idea. Whereas instead of your dragon, which I know can do damage to me pretty hard, but I can bonk it usually, just not this turn, uh, and stay ahead. So we're actually in check there. So I would stay ahead of you damage wise unless you kill me like right now. Yep. <clears throat> that is true. That is true. Um. So this was the gamble I took. The other option was I exile your dragon, and then you don't have a flyer anymore, and then I have guaranteed flight damage, but you also have a 7-2 that keeps coming back. Well, he, he yeah. can't attack you with the 7-2, actually, because you have the 3-3s, three and block with them, they right, die, right, and, and then, then you, you kill me. Yeah. So it might have been beneficial to kill the 5-5. Five, five. Well, see, these are the things that I can't predict until the commenters yell them at me. <laughs> at least I already told you, so... And then, well, it doesn't matter if you told me. I'm going to hear it 24 <laughs> times. <laughs> Shit. No, I think I'm still okay. I'm still okay for like one turn, I think. Are you? I think you're, uh... No, no, I'm fine. You're, no, you're dead. All he has to do is attack you with the 3-3s. Three if you kill the 3-3, three three, you die. Yeah, no, it's it's fine, though. I don't... You're dead. Wait, it's how fine. do you not die from this, Rob? I have... I have lands and i have cards in my hand you have two lands nothing prevents damage mm, with two lands. you're forgetting a card that i have i know deck. there's a card that prevents all damage but i'm pretty sure it costs like three to four it's, lands well, it's not the one that I have. i'm curious to see what happens here so well, yeah you, you can't this. not yeah there's no reason not to because now if he kills both of them he can kill one of your cards damn it 
<laughs> oh, that was a bluff? Yeah, I was really hoping that you didn't know <laughs> oh, nice. that. Wait, 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 it, it was a good bluff, but it, it, yeah, he, it's still it not right effort. for him to not attack with those. because No, like I said, it's absolutely right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, well, yeah, it doesn't really matter what I do, huh? I'm going to block and do this. Oh, yeah. did, you, did you throw a gorilla thing at it? What is that? Oh, if he only oh, attacked with yeah. one, it would have been if, if, yeah, yeah. if he attacked with one, that I would have been fine. But I can't actually block it because I forgot to do it on the first phase anyway. It doesn't matter. I lost on that turn. It doesn't matter what I did. Oh, well. It was a good Oh, effort. that sweet win. Yeah. Oh, it fills me with life and joy. <laughs> It was oh, close, let's though. unlock some cards. It was a dirty win, Nick. I hope you realize. <laughs> it was a, yeah, hey, but Luku just got a booster pack, motherfucker. I, I went from zero... In, with that play, I went from 0% chance to win to 10% chance to win, and Nick went from, like, 0% to 90%. So, really, it was good for both man, of us. Man, you, you really downplay Nick's ability to play this game, man. That's really No, rude. no. Yeah. Well, he was fucking dead from your all your really? flying things. Nah. It wasn't. It didn't have anything to do with what he had, like, what he had to, to win. If you just if you just attacked him with the flying things, he was fucking dead. You just, actually you could have attacked him with what four of them, and you had six, and he was dead. Let's actually talk about the part how I chose to uh, aggressively assault Austin because That's I true. knew that at the end of the game, if he doesn't have almost no health, it doesn't matter what I do; he's gonna kill me anyway. <laughs> That's true, yeah. And Austin That's clearly his loyalties lie they're they're ambiguous his loyalties since you were attacking him the whole game and then he started attacking me. Wow, yeah, that's like, that can't, trust, is can't trust him. Can't trust I him at all. I, I tried to make a deal with Rob and he denied it. It was awful. Well, I my, Nick for him. Your deal was terrible no. because my I, deal. I attacked Nick. I could have done like a million damage that turn to you. Yeah. That was a deal with the angel room and you know what was in it? The fucking Dead Sea Scrolls. It was, he saw through exactly. it. Exactly. Why are he the Dead Sea it. Scrolls in the goddamn angel room I now? I have no way. idea. It's a bit of a Why are the fucking soul hearts in the goddamn angel room? That's Ugh. the worst. God, why? Did How do you make the angel room show up all the time? That's my real question. Yeah, yeah. it's only ever like 50-50, I think. It's not even. But that I can't good. even establish precedent. I need to kill. Uh, I need to do a thing twice, and I can't do that thing. Oh, I did that already, actually. Oh, great! Cool. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, I did that thing. It was pretty good. I liked it. All of it, like to be in the end. No, 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 not not all the way, but just the just the first part that Nick was having, is saying that he's having trouble just with. I was getting there or what? Well, like, killing the two things that he needs. What are to we kill. getting out of discussing? I don't want to. Well, yeah, I don't want to like spoil anything for anybody who hasn't played Reaver. When the anything. fuck can we start talking about Isaac? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's only been two month. weeks. Yeah, it's been, yeah. The game's only out for two weeks. We could we could start spoiling things. A it's month long now, enough to start bugging people for an expansion pack not long enough to start exactly. spoiling the end of the game we need this expansion it's been two whole weeks like why is there no expansion yet it's not even the end of the game it's just this ambiguous why is this here thing like <laughs> it's so weird yeah it's like it's cool but it's like why what is the purpose of this yeah i don't even know what's through that thing so don't tell oh. me that i don't want to know okay I don't I mean, want to know. We've been talking about the pyramid for fucking ages, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's the whole pyramid level. You're right. Sorry for spoiling the pyramid level, yeah. guys. It's the Illuminati Pairs. level. Who pairs? Who pairs? Pair pressure. She pairs pair. pressure. Pair pairs. Pairs tend to pressure, I've heard. Can you share your pairs with my bear? I wonder what they're going to put in the expansion. <laughs> share pairs? New floors. Yeah, let's talk about what we need in the expansion pack to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. New hard floors, hard more Actually, synergies. All the synergies. Remove yeah. the cap for 12 hearts. That's gotta go. <laughs> no, I, I That's like expansion that. pack shit. Uh, get rid of all the annoying enemies you don't like. You know, it's weird, though, because, like, added the, features. the 12 heart cap, I thought, um, initially, I thought that that would make the game a lot harder. But I think I have as as common a success rate in Rebirth as I do in the original, so... You know why? Because a Dark Bum. <laughs> well, Dark Bum <laughs> is amazing, but I, they have significantly nerfed him because they lowered his drop rate to, like, nothing. I have I have not seen him since the patch. I think I've seen him one time since the patch, actually. I still get him. I still do you get really? Him. Yeah, um, you just have bad luck, man. Yeah, they made the, the Isaac boss fights way easier um, yeah 
But it's, well, but the mom's hard fight is harder, but it's not necessarily that hard. They're both more predictable, I think, is the big thing. Yeah, also yeah. less tedious, which well, is nice, too. Well, the mom's heart fight, I think, is, is, is equally predictable, because the old one was still predictable. In fact, I think the mom's heart fight... I like the change, but I really hate the first phase where she summons yeah, the, the lasers. eyeballs. Yeah, that's bullshit. Like that's they're kinda just dumb. out of reach at no matter what range you are. You can never line up the shot. Yeah, it's it, it's like really awful because you because it's like oh yeah I'm like most of the time I'm pretty much forced to take damage because you're trying to duck and weave to kill that last because it, it does the two at the beginning which you can deal with pretty su successfully. You can usually deal with the third one pretty successfully, but then she spawns the other one on the other side of her. And, and then you have to, like, duck and weave between shots, and while you're ducking and weaving, the laser can just fucking hit you. So. Uh, it's, it's weird. The mom, the mom heart fight is actually real hard if you don't have enough damage, but you always have enough damage. Yeah. But if you don't, it's super fucking intense. Have you ever actually fought, like, yeah. each phase individually? You get, like, fucking fistula coming at you, and you get chub, and you get all these things there's, while she's shooting shit at you. It's There's variable phases, though. There's, like, two different versions of the fight that I've gotten. Yeah. Well, it's, like, it was well, like what happened? Original I, I think it's actually all the same, maybe. Actually, I don't know now. That, I think you might be right. There's one where the bullets track you, and there's one where it's just waves oh no i'm talking about the intermission when she spawns something mm -hmm. but i've had it where you don't get the fistula at all well that's because you killed her too fast then yeah, yeah that's what happens is that's why she's easy though is because if you kill her fast enough she just skips phases and yeah she tends to just not have them but if you don't have the damage you have to go through each phase and it's real hard actually yeah I, I like, like you, you, there's I, I so many the, items the that... isaac the isaac fight needed to be changed because it was just do you have it was just it was just made there <laughs> like it, it was it was just put in because they needed a new boss for wrath of the lamb or whatever or, yeah they needed a new boss so it just like popped in whereas now the new fight is actually a fight and i like it although it is much easier but but the thing is like we're, we're forgetting that we say that the old fight was hard but the real <laughs> thing is we got used to playing around that fight because generally, you, you take the items, especially with the D6, where you would play for that fight, for the most part, if you're going to the Cathedral, which you usually are because it's the chest or whatever. Um, but but remember, when, when it first came out, you know, you we found out that you did kind of need a specific set of items in order to beat that fight. Whereas this yeah, new fight, you don't sure. need a specific set of items, which I like. I think that's a good thing. I I, I don't... I think it was but stupid hard, in the old... Though, well, yeah, Mom's Heart is then. still... Well, yeah, a little bit. I mean, if you don't have enough damage, then yeah, you're kind of fucked in the mom's heart fight. Um, but but that one's not as bad as the Isaac fight because Isaac, it was like, you you need orbitals and you need to not have a, a run based on just attack speed. Otherwise, you're pretty much fucked. So going through the whole game with base damage is a nightmare. I don't yeah. want to do that ever. Yeah, and or Maggie's fucking base speed. If you do not get a speed up on That's Maggie, you. your life you. is fucking. It's the worst. That'll not only will that kill you, but you'll be miserable the whole time you're alive, yeah. waiting to die. Yeah, because <laughs> it, it takes forever too. Like, it, like whenever I do a Maggie run, it takes like eight years because you're walking for eight million billion. And you years. have all the health you could ever want, so you just keep living. Yeah. And suffering <laughs> it's and the worst. waiting. I fucking hate Maggie. Maggie is probably my least favorite character. I like, I like Samson more than I like Maggie. Even in the old game, I it's would pick Samson over. Well, yeah. He's not as bad in this game. He gets he damage was, at least, right? Uh, he, he was really bad in, in Isaac 1, though. He was He's he's not as bad in Rebirth, but... I think it, Lazarus is kind of bullshit because he's just so boring and unoriginal. He's just like, oh, yeah, he, he reses. Kind of Who cares? He's he's boring, but I, I, I like him. He's, he's all right. I, I wish you could unlock Awful. an item for him. Well, you start with a pill, though. So, if, like, if you... If you uh, so would you just reset until you get a good pill? Yeah, probably. You could do <laughs> that. I'm sure people would do that. I, I do that. It's fucking... I, if you're going to give me a free pill, I'm going to fucking use it. Yeah. I would have much rather Lazarus had piercing shots and no res. I would have had so be much cool. of a better time with that character. That'd be interesting, yeah. I mean, I know that doesn't make sense for the, like the biblical consistency, which we care about sometimes in Isaac, but, you know... That's what would have It'd been. It'd be nice more. if if there was like if there was a mode that you can unlock where you can customize your character. You know, everybody's been saying yeah, that for for a long time, but like it would be cool if you could unlock a mode where you could customize a character, and it could kind of work like um, 
I want to use CK2 as an example, but I think, like, old-school RPGs are a better example because they do the same thing where, like, you can take a good trait and that adds, like, plus six points or yes, something. weighted then, attributes. Right, yeah, and then you and then you could subtract by taking some bad things. Like, that would Every be... Every unlock has its own point value, and then you have right. a certain amount of points you can spend. Yeah. I mean, even Call of Duty has something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that would be that would be really cool to, to have a custom character to start with. And then ideally, if you get true or real whatever the hell platinum god, you should just be able to have access to just make your own challenge runs and then share, share seeds with people. Oh, like, that'd be so. Cool. There's a lot of things that are weirdly not in the game that could be real good that could yeah, be also real easy. Yeah, there, there is some. There is. It, it is kind of weird how like, like I knew the game was gonna be Isaac, but better. But I thought that there would be more things. It's not a lot of things, you know. It's it's more or less yeah, just, just Isaac. Extra like, padding of the same stuff, mostly. Right, which I'm, you know, I'm fine with, and I, that's what I expected it to be. But I did kind of hope that it would have more extra things. There's like two substantial things that they've added to the game yeah. in terms of progression, and one is also just extra challenges. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, I, I am unhappy that there's no like level after. Like they added the. Uh, can I say that there's fucking level after shield? Is that a spoiler? Yeah. Whoa. No, yeah. <laughs> Everyone expected that to be a thing. Yeah. I did. Leave that yeah. out. Leave it out, alright? No one has yeah. to hear it. Um, but uh you care about like, our audience at all. I was real I thought that was real cool, but then when I realized that was it, it was like, oh the land boss fights were real easy too. Like it's a joke. I have it's not easy in hard mode when you can't take any damage though. Oh yeah, mm. that's yeah. I can imagine that. Yeah, but 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 with that guy though, I don't know how hard or easy that fight is because every time I've gotten to him, I have been super overpowered and I've just like basically. I, I fought him, him once when yeah. I didn't have much and he was still pretty easy. His attacks were really easy to dodge. Yeah, he's, he's got like really one. Fighting two adversaries in a one by one. Yeah, oh, like, I actually finally learned how to fight one adversary. Like, uh, is there a way to dodge the brimstone? Just, just keep Circles. circling him. You just keep have to keep circling him. That's what I thought yeah. it would be, but yeah. But the thing, but what happens when he's like tucked up against the wall? You can't do anything then. You can't like. Uh, you do like use use. See no, what but see, I did. Though, yeah, he can, yeah, he'll still hit you. But yeah, yeah, he'll still like... hit you. Like I, I've done that, and he he'll still hit you because like if he catches you on the moment in which you're turning, you're fucked. He hits you. And if they both do their AOE ground pound attack at the same time in opposite corners oh, of the room, two of them, you yeah, have you're to fucked. take damage. Yeah. There's no way around it. Yeah. There shouldn't be allowed to be fucked. two in one room. That's one by one. If you wanted to give me a two by two room and do that, all right, maybe we could talk, but not in a one yeah. by one. Yeah, the I think the 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 first incarnation of the adversary, which I saw after I saw the adversary. By the way, I forget his name. That one, that one's okay. That's an a all right boss fight. Or something. Yeah, dark, I think yeah. Real dark. fucking easy though. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah I mean, it is once you're... once you know the patterns. Yeah, but I mean, like that's the same of any Isaac boss, I think, except for like. You know the ones that you just can't not take damage, like Conquest. Like Conquest, I wouldn't say is a hard boss. He's just a bullshit boss. Like it's just like sometimes you just can't not take damage. You have to take the damage, and that's no. yeah, yeah. I I know what you mean. It's uh, yeah. There's a lot of questionable design decisions, but like it's it's still Isaac, and that's still fucking great. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I mean, just wish there was like a sort of you know quote unquote final level kind of thing. Because I felt like there there really isn't a final level. It's still. The chest is just they added an extra. This is also the same level as before. Expansion, level. man. Expansion. I'm hoping. I'm hoping because like even the the this uh, this is kind of spoiler, not really, but the ending's kind of like they they've always been dissatisfying, but this one felt especially so to me. No, yeah. I actually I, I like the endings in Isaac. I mean, Have, the ones you seen that last one. Really? No, well, not the last, last one. But... You like the, like, nine-second vignettes of Isaac dying in every single ending? Yeah. Like, well, who cares? but it, it, it's, like a, it's like a Dark souls -y kind of thing, because you piece the story together through that, and there is yeah, a no, story, I agree, and but, like, I like that. This one I... especially was just like, well, we kind of already knew all this. Yeah, we it knew was all just this really part, like... yeah. All the endings were, you know, pretty much the same, except for oh. that one kind of the new one because of the dark room level. No, I'm talking about the one after the thing behind the gold door. Oh, okay. All right, don't tell yeah. me. I don't I'm gonna be the one to say it. I don't play Isaac for the story. <laughs> no, I don't either. I just, I, I just want like I, I you, sometimes it's, you get a little surprise or okay. just be like, oh look at that. But and it was just kind of like, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's and the like, nine I, I, I'm, to get I'm to more I, for the this, loud credits. It's, it's it, you're right. It's a passing thing. I really just, I would rather have had like a final. Level yeah, but what's up with the loud credits, by the way? How, They're what, very loud. What, what, what what's the deal with that? Why did they? Well, what was that decision? The credits it's and just... the brimstone are too loud. Yeah, <laughs> I don't... Turn those two things down. Yeah, I don't know why... I don't know what the deal is with that. 
Because, like, the brimstone is just, like, so ridiculously loud. And the end yeah, exactly. And the end and credits... it's an annoying sound on top of yeah. it. Yeah. It's like, whoa, why? I mean, like, I, I get it. I would have taken you... the gluttony sound over that any day. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, like, I, I get the idea. It's like that Sergio Leone type of make it sound louder and it feels stronger, you know? Like, okay. But, I mean, come on. This is a video game. Like, I'm much more increased. Uh, in, I'm sort of more in the mood by that just based on the lighting effect or, like, the splatter patterns more than it being loud. I don't really care about that. The lighting effect is really nice. I do like that. Yeah. That is that is pretty... I cool. had no idea dynamic lighting would be such a big deal in Isaac. Like, seeing radioactive tears mm -hmm. looks sweet as hell. Yeah. yeah Especially the light in a dark great. room. Technology in a dark... In, in like, a curse yeah. of darkness is real cool. Yeah, the lighting, the lighting effects in the game are, are like, really beautiful. I think... I, there are people who still stand by that the the art looks terrible, and I, I don't get that. Like, no. I think it looks. Yeah, I, I originally did. Now that I've played the game, I like it a lot more. Yeah, I, I think it looks like a hundred times better than the original. Agreed. It, it only looks all muddy and kind of not contrasty at all. It's just kind yeah. of there. Like looking back at old yeah, Isaac, it looks weird. ugly compared comparatively. Like it looks ugly. It looks gross. Comparatively, not Isaac's overall. super big too. Yeah, yeah. But that's Flash. You didn't have enough granular control and be able to animate at that scale. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, but Rebirth for the most part is really good. I, I hope they add some things like stuff that we've been talking about, though, in the expansion. I hope so. I don't know if they will, but I really hope so. What's up with people in, in every chat room I've ever been saying, so will Spider make a Spider mod? And then someone says, I don't know, maybe. And then someone says, you, you can't because he worked on the team. <laughs> That's just someone saying they know he worked on the team, right? Yeah, yeah, what does that mean? That's that not mean actually anything. any information that took place there. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, there's nothing going on there, yeah. Uh, do we even know if Isaac's moddable? Is, is Rebirth moddable? Uh, does it, is it mod That's the thing, we don't know any of this, so the fact that people are speculating about these weird details is just like, why are we talking about that? yeah. Which is weird, too, because I feel like th there's a couple things where it's like, okay, they were building the game from the ground up. There's a couple things that people obviously want in an Isaac successor that you simply couldn't do in, in Flash. And you simply couldn't add on, especially after the fact, because um, because you're not they weren't building the features from the ground up. Like online multiplayer. I knew that like was the a, first one. Like a room builder and stuff. Like, like mod support, uh, making it mod friendly. There is a room builder in the game. Edmund showed it off. Like, well, no, that's the one that they use. That's that's they they've said actually that the Tyrone said that that they're not going to release that because that's not that's not friendly to users. That's not. In fact, he even said that he does not plan on adding a room builder or a or a map builder or anything because that's not something that they want to do. Um, and it's like you know, there are a couple things like you were building it from the ground up. You could have done that. Like, they could have done those well, things. Feature creep, though. Otherwise, the game will never come out. They've got to put the line somewhere. Yeah, the game already took two years. Yeah, what what took so long? Yeah. <laughs> they made the whole no engine offense. and all of the items and all of the synergies and all the animations and but all the new there's... bosses and all of the sound. No, they didn't even the get art. all the synergies. They got, like, half of the synergies. They got anyway. less than half of the synergies. There's a lot more than there were, though, which there Agreed, were Agreed, but yeah, still, there like, are, yeah. Not... But there's a surprisingly they small. made an engine that's not easy no i know i'm not saying that it is i'm just saying that like when you're building the game from the ground up and there's a bunch of things that people obviously really want like a super super obvious features it's like it's one of those things like why not we already waited for rebirth that people would wait longer for rebirth if, if it needed to take another like you know six months to a year people would have waited if that, because if they that needed didn't to be the want case. to they said that like there's a direction I know that they, that didn't they want wanted to. to put things in and, and there's a matter of convenience too like if you just don't have a desire to create that sort of interaction or support the game in that way then it's going to cost you more time and money to implement and and then yeah. continue to support later well i don't know i think there's there's a pretty like substantial history of games being mod friendly leading to a lot of successful things Oh, I know. Like, and I'm I mean, not dis I'm know. not disagreeing, but you can't fall into the trap of saying because the public wants X that they're now obligated to give X. 
uh, no, I'm not saying that, but it's just, I'm just saying that, like, they built the game from the ground up. It's weird. It's a little bit weird that they didn't even do some of the things. Like, these are some, these are some, like, I, I'm, I, and when I say, uh, these are some basic things that people want, and I'm not saying basic as in it's easy to do, but I mean basic as in, like, this is something that people really even wanted in the original game, you know? That is a pretty common thing that people wanted in the original game. I mean, they have co-op, they just don't have it online, which is, you know, it's a bit weird. Adding mod support, adding online multiplayer, those are huge, huge features. I know, I mean, I know I, they I'm are. sure they made the decision very early on that these are not things they wanted to do. No, I, 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 totally, I totally know what you're talking about, but I also think it's weird that they didn't, they thought that that's something that they didn't want to do. Because they're building it from the ground up, so like they, they built it from scratch, right? So no, but they can finish the product this way. If they added mod support, there is an endless redoing the cycle over and over again of adding more and more things. They well, wanted not, to be able to call it quits at one point. Not necessarily. I mean, they they don't like. Look what happened to Meat Boy, man. You know what Edmund had to say about that whole scenario? He just shut it all down. The game doesn't even work when you start it the first time. It crashes every single time I launch it. Oh, the uh, the mod maker thing. Just for Meat Boy in general, like that's uh, two separate problems. But they decided because they got their database hacked that they're just not going to support it anymore. Right. So they took all this time to implement this huge feature that everybody wanted, and what was the payoff? A bunch of people hacked it, and then they turned it off. Yeah. And I was very, very involved in the Super Meat Boy modding community. That was like my favorite thing. And now there's just no level portal anymore. Mm. So like that's the lesson that one of those developers got to learn through. Yeah, I mean that's true. That was a bad experience, obviously. Like I don't, I don't doubt that that was a bad experience, but that was like one time of a thing happening. Does that mean that you should never do anything like that again? I don't know. Actually, this is kind of weird to say, but in an interview, Edmund actually went on record as saying that uh, because of the fact that everyone figured out all of the secrets of Isaac in the first week, he's just not going to bother implementing secrets like that ever again. So oh, really? he does kind of have that attitude, yeah. Well, with what you mean with rebirth? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't doubt that. I mean, they did the same thing with uh, with the original game. That that's like a that's like a twofer. Two two that happened to him two times. I could see that. But I mean, also he he wouldn't. I don't think he would have any hands in in making the game mod friendly or anything, because that would just be that that's just like that's just like uh, dev side, right? And he's he's just the designer. I don't, I don't think he would have any hand in in some sort of an editor at at any point i mean edit like an editor isn't even necessarily what i want i mean just having the game be able to be modded which would be nice and I, I don't know we, if they, i don't was, know that it won't i was sick <laughs> it of could be yeah I, I, but i'm saying it's weird that it's not that way i took a long i, I was thinking about the whole uh them data mining the whole secret thing and all that and i'm uh, it was just kind of weird because I get that a lot of work went into it, and they said months of work went into the design of the secret and all that, but if you're going to put that much thought into a secret, uh, to have it be secret, uh, it, it, there's a surefire way to make people ruin that secret, and that's put it as an achievement, and they put it yeah. as an achievement. Right, yeah. So they actively encourage people. I'm not saying they intentionally encourage people, but they, the completionists yeah. are going to go for that. They're regardless, and they're going to find the fastest way, and that's what they did. I think that and was unfortunately a, a victim of design as well, because all of the yeah. achievements are also secrets in the game, so right. they kind of had to make it an achievement. I don't think so. I could have taken it you out. You could just not make that an achievement. Yeah. <laughs> so that would be the only non... That'd be only yeah, I mean, but but if, if we're talking about a huge secret you spent months of working on, I yeah. feel like you can take it out as an achievement. Two, two things. That and also True Platinum God shouldn't have been secret uh, that are also achievements. Yeah. Those are huge spoilers. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. People And, and people spoiled it a week before the game came out, too. I remember seeing that post on the Binding right. of Isaac subreddit. And I was like, why does anyone want it? And there were, like, loads of comments on it. And it's like, what? I, like, I didn't even look at it because I don't want to fucking know. Why do you guys want to know? Why do you want to why do you want to take that experience away from yourself? That's why I don't understand, like, people... Like, there are some people I know who, like, spoil things for themselves before they even, like, go into, like, watching a show or something. They'll, like, spoil things or, like, read about the synopsis or something of a movie before they... It's like, why, why do you want to do that? You're taking away an experience from yourself. Why do you want to do that? I don't get it. I don't get that. Yeah. Uh, it, it just... 
it's I feel like taking secrets out of the game is a real late like oh the these two guys data mined it so fuck everyone else like well right, I don't like, think he was saying that I think he was saying that like well, that's he's essentially never do what something. they're saying they're not they're not meaning that no but that's that's what you're getting at like yeah and, and it sucks because like if you would have put a secret in the game and not made it obvious that it existed that's a good secret because people aren't going to data mine if they know what the fuck it is like. Well, they it's are with make... this game because they're going to want to look at the code to find out what all the damage percentages are so they can right, see but yeah. That's not like you got to if you want to put if you know your game's going to get data mined and they knew it was going to get data mined from the very start. They knew years ago. Um, then you got to understand that if you put a lot of work into a secret, it's going to be spoiled, especially if you, you know, make an achievement. So they kind of doomed themselves. And I feel like that was a little silly. The overreaction to is a little unnecessary considering that Reddit was actually pretty close to figuring it out a anyway. They were, they were a day away from figuring it out. Yeah. So to be freaked out about it, like, you know, it's going to happen one way or the other. Just because you wanted it to take longer doesn't mean that you can make them slower. I mean, you're putting up a challenge in front of the entire internet. That's a lot of minds and hands and hours yeah. that can all figure that out together. Didn't, yeah. like, didn't I think it's internet... easy to underestimate. Yeah, the internet crowdsourced, uh, what, like a puzzle? There was this... Um biological disease thing that like they couldn't figure out how to put pieces together like i don't know exactly the the layout of exactly what happened but um essentially what the scientists did is they couldn't figure it out for like 30 years so they put it up on the internet in like a, a easy to use thing and people figured it out in like a week it was like a protein folding thing that they had yeah. to figure out the right way that the synthesis of these two things fit together mm-hmm I think, if yeah, I remember some, the story. Something even. like that, yeah. At the very least, yeah. So, I mean, it, you know, if, if they're going to do that with a with a 30-year-old uh, science problem, they're going to figure it out in a video game made in two years, you know? And not only is that also a very compelling issue, but, like, if you take it to the point where gamers want information as soon as they can figure it out, they're driven by not only the ability to solve a problem, but also to be the first ones who did it and then get the internet recognition for it, right, which is yeah. a whole nother level, and it's like a whole gray market of uh, second-hand exposure. Which is weird, too, because like, does anybody even remember who who unlocked the secret first or who, who figured out the secret first? Does anyone remember the person? No, no, but it's in their own heads that they feel it's important. Right, exactly, yeah. Yeah, well, you know. Well, maybe we're not even directly amongst the people who would know that anyway. Yeah, so. that's true. There, there might be a... We're a little removed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just, I hope the expansion adds more vertical improvements. Whereas I think Rebirth spent a lot of time on horizontal improvements, which I am also okay with. But I would, I would really like to see more vertical improvements in, in an expansion. If that was what they were going for. I mean, Wrath of the Lamb was, like, all pretty much horizontal for the most part. Uh, you know, well, no, it's, it's, it's roughly the, the same with Rebirth. The way I look at it is Vanilla Isaac was Isaac Alpha 1.0. Right, yeah. Wrath of the Lamb was Isaac Beta 1.0. And Rebirth is the actual game being released. Yeah, I could, I could totally... So, like, if we're looking at this as the ground floor, who knows where the hell we're going to go from here. It could yeah, be anywhere. Totally. I mean, fuck, I hope they release a couple expansions. That'd be pretty cool if they were supporting the game a couple years after development. You know? Especially if the community's still there. Yeah. One has to wonder how convoluted you can add items, though, and continually still make any kind well, of semblance of balance. I was just that's about what to I say, mean. like, what are you going to expand on? Like, well, that's that's what I mean, like, with the vertical... I, I would prefer the vertical... Because, like, when, if you do, if, when I'm saying horizontal progression, that's, like, adding more items, adding more synergies, adding things like that. That's kind of horizontal improvement. Whereas vertical improvement is, like adding in that that lamb boss fight uh, a new character a new way to play the game the seed stuff right well, um like i think they're both I mean, a little leech stuff. though yeah they adding are adding new but, items leads but, I mean, to vertical this, improvements this stuff well yeah sometimes but like the but but what i think I, I mean like some of the the feature stuff that we were talking about like a custom character creator or you know um you know, stuff like that. That would a leaderboard of like maybe some kind of some way to work out how a daily thing would work. That would be cool. I don't know, something like that. That would be that would be cool. A cool vertical improvement to the game. Maybe being able to use your mouse on the menu screen. I don't think be... they're actually going to do that. I, I really, think that's actually a thing. I really hope that they do. I was. Uh, I mean, 
I feel like there there was kind of a lack of wow moments in Isaac, which kind of bummed me out because like uh, the, the the coolest thing I think in the whole game where I was like, oh, this is really fucking cool, was the the secret uh, little Zelda things that you can find on like the basement and stuff. Yeah, those are cool. Like because it just blew my mind because I was like, I'm moving up and down a ladder. This is I can't handle this. This <laughs> is crazy. It That's was probably... really cool, and I really like the 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 new level they added was just uh, black room. Yeah. And it had all the same kind of design as the chest and the way the enemies were laid out. So it was just like, what was the point? It's kind of a palette swap, yeah. Yeah, it's, it just, it's the chest that looks swap, different. Yeah. The boss is even easier. And it's just, it felt really weird. Like, and, and I was bummed because I was like, all right, this this gold door that's in here, it must lead to a new level or something, right? Like the don't final, the real final level. Don't tell me. Uh, it doesn't lead to a real final level. I'll tell oh, you yeah. that. You already you're, you're spoiled that for it's me earlier the in the episode. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it was the pyramid. Um, but yeah. No, it, uh, it, it just, it's just kind of a thing, and it's like, oh, well. Yeah. Well, I, I, had, some, I had some wow moments, like with the with the double key doors. Oh, no, yeah, the... I'm not talking about items. Like, items are real cool. Actually, you know, I haven't seen one of the double bomb doors in a long time. Like a really, really long time. They're rare. They're pretty yeah. rare. Yeah, it's weird. Because I, I, I saw a double bomb door before I saw a double key door. And um, I haven't seen a double bomb door in like since like since patch 1.1, I think. Mm. Not it's an important thing that that you hit on though, saying those wow moments because I, thinking about it now, uh, the blowing the hole in the rock that led to a you know a secret area, mm -hmm. I was like, wait a minute, that that messed with all the rules that I thought I knew about this game. Yeah, yeah, totally. And then it made me think, well, what other rules can I break? Mm -hmm. And that's exactly where I want to be in the, the right headspace to get the most out of Isaac. That's yeah. where I have the most enjoyment out of it, is looking for those little weird quirks that you think maybe only one person or me and two other people would ever find. Mm -hmm. And I totally had that realization, and I've already said this a few times, so everybody in the comments is going to be pissed that I said it again. But I found these little crosses on the uh, depths oh, on the I, floor, and I thought I this was a shout-out to Animal Crossing. So I thought uh, I needed to go get the shovel and dig on one of those, and I was so disappointed it just wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't anything. No, but I, I just wanted more of that. Yeah, I, I found I found that too, Nick, and I, I I used bombs. I used like three or four bombs on it because I deluded myself. I used the bomb on it one time, and then I was like, oh, I think that I think the X got smaller, and right. I used another bomb, and it wasn't anything. It, it was like that in the original Isaac too, where. Um, where you know, there's that one room with uh, with all the fires, but the fires have like an yeah, arrow pointing we downwards. Thought we could yeah, use when I that for something. Yeah, yeah, when I when I first found that, I was like, oh, maybe there's like a super duper secret room below there, and I'll use a bomb at the bottom, and it wasn't. And well, it, I do one wish of them that shaped it had like a star too. Huh? One of them was shaped like a star, so the theory was that you needed to get a pentagram and then do something in that room. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, see, like stuff like but that. That's it, what I wanted of more of. Yeah. yeah, me too. I totally agree. I wish there was more of that kind of stuff. And that's Absolutely. the exact stuff that Edmund says he doesn't want to do now because everybody gets to the bottom of the secrets immediately, and I just feel like that so undermines the point of the game. Yeah. Like, what do you, like, as the developer, to say that, what did you think everyone should be getting out of the game if not for those moments? Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Like, I, I don't think you can ever stop people from spoiling themselves on things. Like, that's just going to happen. Like, if they want to go watch a stream uh, where a guy's dissecting the code and stuff, then they will do that. And I think it actually shows that a lot of people really like that. Uh, but I, me personally, when I play the game, I, I like to play it, I think, as Ed intended, which is that, you know, I, I, I want to figure this stuff out on my own, you know, and, and kind of make it feel like... Legend of Zelda on the NES, you know, where you didn't know about it, where you have to fucking use a candle on a burn and burn a bush to get into a dungeon, you know, in this just one spot, you know, stuff like that, that, you know, you go talk to your friends about and, and it's like, oh, I did this one thing and, and then this happened, you know, I, I, I want to play the game like that because I know that that's how the game is intended and I, I, I don't think you should get so hu uh, hung up on people spoiling that for themselves because those people are always going to exist, I think, you know, it's sort of like, um, it's sort of like the... The Nintendo guy who made um, who made Super Smash Brothers, who was like, yeah, we, we're not going to do a story mode this time because, uh, like, because you know it's people YouTubers. are going to spoil it on YouTube. It's like, are you for real? Like, really? You're, you so you're going to take away all that's even like, dumber. All though. that stuff. Like, that's even way dumber. Yeah. but I, I, you know what? It, it, it's a, I think it's a, a totally uh, realistic thing for people to feel as a creator of something. Um, 
Because I, I've, I've experienced something similar in that, like, you know, sometimes I'll get a shitty comment and I'll feel shitty and I won't read any more comments and, you know, I, I'll talk about it or whatever. And it's like, you know, that's like a that's like a really tiny percentage of... But, yeah, it, but it's as roughly a, similar. As an least. adult, though, after you read that, you take a step back eventually and go, yeah, but I still care about the core of my audience and I still want to provide them the thing that I came here to provide. Right, yeah. So for a company... Like Nintendo to take a stance and go, yeah. oh, the YouTubers, they ruined our fun, so <laughs> yeah. no one gets anything. Yeah. We're taking the fun away. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah, that's, yeah. Grow up! I think it's one of those things, too, where it's like, <laughs> they, they probably, that like, he probably did feel that way, and that probably was one of the main reasons that they took away the story mode, but probably another reason was that it probably costs lots of money to make a story mode like that and they just decided not to do so it. So say that. I'd be yeah, much more content would, with hearing that. I, I, Me too, but you know. I'm trying to scapegoat YouTubers just because you hate them already for some reason. Yeah, but you already know game companies can never say anything like that. They're not allowed to say like, yeah, we didn't do it because we didn't, we couldn't figure it out or we didn't have enough money. Like, the, the same with the console thing. Like, oh yeah, we actually kept it at 30 frames per second because uh, because it looks yeah. more cinematic. It's like, yeah, that's the reason that you kept it at 30 frames per second. I'm sure that's why. Because that's it's, hence why Assassin's Creed Unity runs at like around 22 frames per second on consoles because it's even more cinematic that way. <laughs> it's the so less cinematic. frames, the more cinematic. Until we can just get like one picture on the screen. Yeah, I've never seen a slideshow. That's the most yeah. cinematic shit you've ever seen. <laughs> Knock your damn socks oh off. Oh my god. Yeah, exactly. But that, I think that's that, that, I think that might have been what happened there. Which yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't I don't know. take any more PR double speak though. It makes me just want to choke people at this point. You know what's sad about it is that for the majority of the public, it like totally works exactly as I it know. Did. That's the that, and that's why they do it. I mean, why wouldn't they do it if it works? It totally works. So, you know, well, they're taking advantage of people's trust. There's nothing yeah. wrong with trusting people, but you should eventually figure out that they're doing that to you because yeah. all the signs from all around you and everybody around you telling you directly that should be able to make you realize it. But yet yeah. people still trust them again and again and again. Yeah. That's why I've made it now my personal crusade to tell people over and over again, stop pre-ordering games. You don't need to do it anymore. Yeah, you really don't. They don't need to collect interest off your money for their bullshit that they decided to take out of the game to give you as a reward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's... Goodwill has eroded to a point where I think we're nearly at the tipping point where things are going to start turning around. At least that's what I hope, anyway. I, I hope so, because then you can look at stuff like, uh, like Blizzardy type stuff and Nintendo type stuff, where it's like, you know, guys, you've been, you you have made my childhood, but you also have been slocking a lot of shit at me for a while, and I don't know how much more I'm willing to take. I don't know how much more. I and I don't know if there's ever going to be a point where I'm like. I will just never touch anything that they make again. Unless right. they go full Ubisoft. If they go full Ubisoft, then, you know, maybe I maybe I maybe I will make that decision. Because I think I'm at, I think I'm at the point with Ubisoft now where it's like, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna touch anything they make anymore. Because I've had too many negative experiences in too short a period of time that I have any respect for the company anymore. Like I still can't play Child of Light, <laughs> by the way. Still can't play that game. I tried. You should send them recently. a letter. Nah, fuck them. Whatever. Sure they'll help you. I gave. Yeah, I gave them. I gave them my five bucks for Child of Light that I wanted to play because it looked genuinely good, and I'm sure it is genuinely good. I, I'm not saying anything about the game, but I actually can't. Like when I say I can't play it, I'm not saying I can't play it because you know I, I think it's too bad or whatever. I can't play it because the game won't launch because you play won't work when I try to launch it. So I ca I physically cannot play this game that I purchased. And it's like, uh, well, yeah, fuck me. And also Assassin's Creed 3 burned me so bad because it was so glitchy and broken on the PC. And you I... know how quickly people turn that around, too, when they hear someone say something what, like what you just said and they start blaming the victim and start coming up with every excuse around the fucking world they can come up with? Mm -hmm. You know, oh, it's your computer's fault. Oh, you didn't have this version of a driver downloaded. Oh, you didn't do this, that, or the other thing. It's all the same damn defense mechanism. It's all the same weird-ass Stockholm Syndrome yeah. for people trying to diffuse the fact that they don't want to be a sucker because they paid a bunch of money. Yeah. 
and now they're on the hook for a thing they wish they didn't do. So they're going to blame everybody but themselves instead of just being like, you know what? I made a bad decision. Let's all look at this rationally and skeptically and cynically and actually coldly realize decisions were made improperly. Yeah. Well, yeah, like that's the other thing, too, is if any if you have any points that say like, well, if you do this thing to thing, then, then, then this thing to get the you play to work, then you do the thing. You know, all of that could have been avoided if you play wasn't on the fucking game. All yeah. of it. I could have just played the game. That's that I could have done. Yeah. That. How many steps down the damn rabbit hole do we need to go to keep giving these people more and more inches of our own goodwill? Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm. I'm, like, kind of done with We're talking about video games here. This is not supposed to be serious shit. Yeah, I know. It's so sad. This is entertainment. What? It's, it's real serious, man. It's video it games. It is. It's a serious shit, man. Yeah, you got. Like, you can't, like, just mess around with this. It's, uh... It's, it's fucking... Real. Yeah. It's, well, you know, again, another reason why I love indie games so much. It's like no, really... indie games are starting to have the same fucking problem. Yeah, indie well, games have the yeah. same problem. Half the time the multiplayer doesn't work. Fucking Binding of Isaac Rebirth didn't start for a lot of people when it came out the day of, but they did patch yeah. it in the same week, so yeah. at least there's that. Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, you have those problems. I'm not I'm not so salty about necessarily problems with the game crashing on... Uh, I mean, well, I guess I can't say that. Never mind. <laughs> but uh, I was going to... Well, I can say that... I guess, probably, I don't know, but probably they had a very small team beta testing to try to find out the problems, and I don't doubt that that's the reason why it didn't work very well for, you know, oh. millions of machines that bought it. That's, like, not even what I would look at. I would look at, did they address it quickly and responsibly? And the answer is yes. Yeah, they so totally So I don't yeah. have an issue then. Like, no, yeah, I don't have a problem. Or proactive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's when you have a game release and they just go for months with these sort of like half-hearted, yeah, we're looking into it, but in reality, they already spent their budget and they don't give a shit. <laughs> that Sim kind of stuff. <laughs> Sim yeah, Sim. that's the stuff I don't forgive so easily. Yeah, that... You can't take people's money and then just run away with it like that. It just reminds me again of SimCity and... That was awful. <sighs> So I'm actually kind of proud that the community never really turned around that hard on that one, because usually there's always the month yeah. of disgrace, and then everyone goes, what were we thinking? This game's fantastic. We're all right. idiots. Yeah. Let's start sucking their corporate cock again, right? That's yeah. pretty much where we go. Yeah, but Sim with SimCity, they kind of just never turned around, so bravo. It's so weird, too, what they did with that game. is like they they were up their own asses about it, and then eventually Everything they found out that they were lying, and then... Uh, like it was super obvious shit and then eventually to try to like fix the game which apparently they fixed a lot of things but uh but then they released that dlc that put advertisements into the paid game like you bought dlc to get like a getty gas station in your game and it was stuff. free i thought oh was it free it was a, it was a oh, free thing that least. was a cross promotion with some kind of electric car yeah which is weird because it's like I, you must have made that deal before the game. Before came that out. happened, yes. like you, 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 you had to have, and then you were for contractually obligated because. And who knows what they canceled? Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, through, right. Exactly. Yeah, they pay five dollars to see another day of your city. Like, oh man, it's it is so, and and that 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 one that that one cuts deep into my heart. I think SimCity because it's like, I really love the SimCity franchise. Like I, I really did. I, I played so much SimCity when I was younger. That's what they're banking on—your emotional attachment to that IP. <sighs> I you know. To spend money. It's so sad that I can never it's touch so anything that they make again. Blatantly psychological. It's just so obvious and transparent. Yeah. And it just gets so many people that don't think about it that way. It, you know, it, like Diablo didn't even hit me that hard because I think that one—that one was more a, a Diablo for the most part. I think was a victim of incompetence, whereas SimCity was a victim of malice entirely. No, no, I'm, I'll am i be the first to admit I turned around on Diablo and I'm still not entirely through how I feel about my own position on it, mm. but I will tell you that was a malicious launch if there ever was one. The you entire so? game was set up to sell shit. We talked about this well, for like yeah, three yeah, hours yeah. in the car when no, we were no, the, the selling stuff, yeah. 
Listen, the selling stuff, but I, I'm talking about like the initial launch when the game just wouldn't play and stuff, and and you couldn't do half the things, and how a lot of it was just kind of, they just kind of lost their identity as to what made Diablo good. Like, um, like none of the one the legendary items didn't do shit. They were mostly trash items, uh, or you know you just had rares that were better, and then also their effects were just boring is like oh yeah plus five attack damage cool like that and that's all it was and like you know stuff and then like the locking of the of the abilities and stuff like that and and all that and and the shitty launch like i think all of that was just that part at least minus the, the money auction house which is clearly malice the rest of that is like i think just incompetence so like how, it didn't it didn't though, hurt me what does how does blizzard who runs the oh, biggest yeah. massively multiplayer game in existence, not know how to create a server setup, even though we're dealing with online DRM, which is bullshit in the first place. Yeah. How do they not understand how to allow that many people to connect? Yeah, I don't know, man. It's That's weird, some serious incompetence. Warlords of Draenor is the same thing. It, it, I feel like it's the kind of thing, like, couldn't, couldn't these problems be averted if they spent the extra money to have extra server capacity for, like, one day or one week? for the launch week where they know the majority of players are going to be playing because the thing is like when you first get a game the first day in a game sales history right is the most important that's when it gets the most sales right. is on that first day so you want that first day to be a good experience so why not spend more on that because that would solve the problem wouldn't it having more server capacity because that's that's the that's the problem that's happened I, with warlords of drainer that was the problem that was happening diablo 3 like, I have to wonder if it's just not that simple, though. That it's not, it just doesn't I, scale I, yeah. up the way that we think it does. I, that I they would can't guess just that you're throw right, more yeah. money at it. Their infrastructure wouldn't support more yeah. after a point. Yeah, I, I would guess that you're right because I, I, I really hope it's that happened you're too right many times. Well. Yeah, it's happened way too many times that they have not learned from their mistake, or or it's it's cripplingly expensive maybe that's the thing maybe maybe you can't yeah, make maybe it's a business contracts. decision yeah maybe you can't make contracts for like a week of extra capacity or something like maybe maybe it's something like that because because too many mistakes have been made into like public fucking knife fights that that uh that they wouldn't learn from that mistake and do something about it right so i i i it has to be that I, it ha you have Maybe to it just right. would cost so much money that they've just decided to just let it go the way it goes and we'll pick it up afterward because the PR is easier to recoup the money on than spending the money to fix it in the first place. That's the thing that I would be most afraid of is that they know that it's going to be a disaster and they don't give a shit because they're going to make just as much money anyway and they don't have to spend the extra money. Well, I, hope I didn't even mean it like that. I just yeah. meant that they just simply couldn't justify spending that much more exponentially for that day right. versus trying to clean it up afterward. Yeah, that's yeah, uh, that's possible. You know, weighing the know. lesser of two evils or something like that. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's just like I, I don't I don't get it, man. But then it's also just like I also don't get why they would make Diablo into an only online multiplayer game. I don't get that either. But, you know, I guess that's a basic Because problem. there's money in that. There's virality in that. There's yeah. word of mouth in that. There's all kinds of PR buzzwords in that. That single yeah. player simply doesn't support the same way. Have you wondered why they just won't stop releasing MOBA games? Yeah. They make money. <laughs> yeah, I well, want to release a MOBA different. game and have it be offline only. <laughs> I think that would everything. actually be kind of fun. No. Uh, no. I wouldn't mind a take on Before. MOBA. Well, because the thing, it, actually, here's the thing. Is uh, MOBA on on those Blizzard games, those old Blizzard RTSs? I mean, th that that kind of idea has floated around for a long time because it, it actually was uh, MOBA's being created was kind of a natural extension of what that map editor did because when you were um, like when you use the map editor in StarCraft, and I, I used to make maps all the time, and I would make them in StarCraft and in uh, in WarCraft three as well. Um, when you made maps in that. Um, it wasn't supported to save your content, right? So you would make these maps, and for the most part, the things that were most popular were like tower defense type things, stuff like that. Stuff that you could have a bite-sized experience with, right? Um, but people also love RPGs, right? So it ended up being that you would have these bite-sized experience RPGs where you level up over the course of, you know, an hour, two hour, three hour game, and then it's done. You, you, you don't get that character back, he's gone forever, right? And there are other games that are that were like that in, in the old client. I remember this old Dragon Ball Z game that you could play, actually, on uh, on Brood War, 
where you would start as a character and you'd start at level one and then you would train by like grinding enemies and going through like quest things and you would level up and you'd get really strong and it was cool but it wasn't competitive um it was just there was no competitive aspect to it, it there was just a bunch of people and it was kind of like like uh side by side multiplayer not so much uh like together multiplayer you didn't really you didn't really have to interact with any other players you could just play it your own way and level up as long as you want and then end the game so really mobas sort of came out of that necessity of of the builder of the of the world builder and so because of that and because i enjoyed doing other of those bite-sized rpgs i could totally see like a, a for, like a one player moba like thing where you're i mean isaac is almost like that in a in a way where you level up in in just one short burst and then you lose that character forever you know i don't know yeah i think it could be fun i really don't want to start calling isaac a moba though <laughs> it's definitely not a moba <laughs> yeah I really don't want that to happen. I, you know what's really funny is I saw when I was he, he, so BlizzCon happened and they did the Heroes of the Storm tournament, and there were people, you know, obviously in the in the Twitch chat, yelling about oh League of Legends is better, oh Dota is better, or blah, blah blah all this stuff. Like Heroes of the Storm. Oh, did like they trash, finally right? figure it out in that chat? Yeah, they figured <laughs> it out. Is that the one? Did they the figure best? out League of Legends <laughs> is the better one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, but so they were doing that, and I remember I saw one guy's comment, who was like, guys. Stop treating this like this is LOL or Dota. Uh, Heroes of the Storm is not a MOBA. It is a hero brawler. And it's like, I don't think that guy knows what... M I don't think that guy knows what MOBA stands for, which is Multiplayer Online Battle Arena, which is the same thing as what he said. He just <laughs> thought it meant MOBA. <laughs> this isn't a MOBA. This is just... We, it's just dudes fighting. Like, yeah, this, yeah. this isn't a MOBA. This isn't a this MOBA. Is... It's a Multiplayer Online Battle Arena. It's very different <laughs> than a MOBA. Oh, this isn't a MOBA. This is a like, multiple personality beat em up. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, like, that guy clearly did not know that MOBA was an acronym, which I thought was really funny. Yeah. God, get your words straight, man. Yeah. Here's the storm. I hope that game ends up good. It's got potential. How Looking many competing right. ones are there anyway? Like, there, it seems like there's about 10 different MOBAs that are all eh. sort of succeeding in a very minor way, and then yeah. LOL and Dota. None of them are really competing, honestly. It's it's LOL and Dota. No, and but really, there's so much if, money to be spent that there's a whole tier that can flourish that just doesn't reach those levels. Yeah, I mean, I think how it's going to evolve is that there's going to be MOBA, like, sort of like how games have, uh, most games have RPG elements now. I think games in the future uh especially multiplayer games Ooh, are just gonna have future. moba elements huh yeah future games with jetpacks and stuff Wait, but moba elements are actually also elements ripped from other genres oh yeah totally but i mean like you know uh first person shooter elements are uh, originally you know doom like elements right so it's just kind of the evolution of genre and stuff in video games i just don't know that moba elements is a thing that holds much weight no, it, it, here, like, um... Fast-paced so, leveling system is a short-form RPG, right? Yeah, but that doesn't really exist in multiplayer. Like, if, in Call of Duty, right, um, your leveling is outside of the individual matches, right? I think there's going to be a market for games in the future where your leveling happens within each individual game, and there's, you know, feeding, kill... Like, sort of... In fact, Call of Duty actually does something similar to it, right? Feeding. Well, yeah, like, I think... You gotta use those buzzwords, buzzwords to define MOBA-like behaviors. Well, no, Otherwise, like, it's not a MOBA-like. There's, there's stuff, there's stuff even in Call of Duty that is kind of, kind of like that, like, uh... Because you're you seeing it through a the lens of a strikes, MOBA. No, 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 but if you, like, if you feed a guy a bunch of kills and don't kill him, then if, like, if, if, if your team is not working together to kill this guy who's got a lot of kills, then he's gonna get an airstrike and you're all fucked, or you get a, a, a nuclear bomb and you're all fucked, right? So in that way, team coordination is supposed to be needed, theoretically, but it isn't necessarily. But I'm saying that MOBA emphasized. didn't originate the concept of team coordination. No, Feeding I know. those I'm not guys that. is just a thing you know now because you played MOBA games. That term didn't originate because of team-based stuff. Well, yeah, it did actually. I mean, if you're talking about feeding, feeding, feeding comes directly from Dota actually, uh, from the original. I I mean, perhaps yeah. it comes from Aeon of Strife, which is, you know, the precursor to Dota, but, um, but yeah, I mean, that, that did come direct, but, but, I, but what I mean is, like, you know, you're leveling up, there, there's kind of games that kind of do a little bit, there, there was that one game that came out, uh, I think it's called Forge or whatever, where it was, like, um, uh, MMO combat in a multiplayer battle arena or whatever, 
And they did that same kind of thing where you kind of level up during the game and you get stronger and, you know, you have to... And then it's also an objective game mode where you have to push down things. You know, mm. I think that's how it's going to evolve. In fact, Heroes of the Storm is an evolution of the MOBA concept, too, because it's not necessarily that you have to destroy the enemy team's ancient. There's a bunch of other objectives that you have to do in any given map. So... You know, you know, the I way I see MOBA evolve. games is that they're scraps of other games <clears throat> that have been di just ripped apart, torn apart, and then reconstructed in the way that is most psychologically prone to make people addicted to it and spend money. Yes, I think that is, I think that's a fair reading of it now, when people make MOBA games now, but... Initially, I think it has much more humble beginnings in in not in that same way. I think it has uh, the beginnings in, in like like I said, it 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 it, it was a necessity. It became a thing out of the necessity of having to work with the world editor, like Blizzard's world editor, where you right, had to have go the back bite sized experiences. Anymore. Once well, it's become no. the thing it is now, we can't decide it's humble again. It just doesn't go the other way. Well, no, I know. I mean, yes. You just I have totally shitty say... ones that fail all the time. That's all you can. <laughs> yeah, I see that now. Yeah, absolutely. But I mean, th this is this is the same. The thing that's happening with like MOBAs today is the same thing that happened a couple years ago, and to a lesser degree, still happening today Wait, with stop, MMOs. Stop. Well, yeah, that, but also MMOs with with World of Warcraft. Remember when? You know, because that's the thing too. Is like MOBAs are expensive to make, so MMOs are the most expensive games to make. They'd be like hundred million dollar games. They would make these to try to like kill WoW, and they would just do. Dude, Age of Conan though, still, <laughs> still killing WoW. Is it still day. killing WoW? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. It, well, they also had that Warhammer Online, which is like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, and like, I get to go in a in a you know and experience that that world. I love that world. That's really cool. I love Warhammer, and it's like, yeah, we just made the game. We just made World of Warcraft again, but it's slightly shittier because it doesn't have the benefit of being around for several years and added expansions and features and stuff. But we'll add those too. Like, why would I play that game? Why would I play that game that is the same thing but worse? Because you love the Warhammer universe just so, so much. <laughs> That's why I play Lord of the Rings online to this day. Yeah, well, I there love you go. Lord of the Rings. And it's the same so thing here with the MOBAs. Much. When they make these new MOBAs and it's like, oh yeah, it's like the same thing, but worse. I'm already playing the other one. Why would I want to play yours unless you do something different? You know. But yeah, I, I do think that MOBA-like elements will... I think that is a totally valid thing, and I think I think that that will happen. I mean, like, look at uh, Super Monday Night Combat. That's that's another one that's like has mobile like elements. I, I wish that whole genre would go away. I'm so tired of it. <laughs> I think it, I think it will be ingrained in all multiplayer and oh. lots of oh. multiplayer games in the future, Nick. I don't think it's going. I want away. to go in the other direction, not further embrace it. I know it's, it's really <laughs> successful, but I don't want that to dictate the future of all it's of this industry happen. anymore. It's gonna happen, man. It's too late, man. At least in the multiplayer field of things. I think but the multiplayer field is becoming the only field because it's the only thing that makes them enough money to justify continuing to make a series of it. Yeah, that's totally true. It's once we get past the point where they're like, "Okay, we can't just make copies anymore. We have to do our own thing and iterate." That'll never it'll it'll happen eventually. I mean, they stopped doing it with with MMOs. How many more Assassin's Creed's do you think it'll take? <laughs> well, yeah, that's okay, that's a good point. Uh, then the real question is how many Assassin's Creed's can we release at once? <laughs> Yeah, I think like, next what, year they're going the to release six if or three seven. If three doesn't do it, we'll have to double it. So let's <laughs> hire about six more teams to create Assassin's Creed games, and we can hit every market. <laughs> that is actually going to happen. Like, I think next year they're going to release the Assassin's Creed that they were making for the PS2. They're just going to release that one now. <laughs> no, you know what you do at this point is you cut your losses, and you actually start to put all of them that have already come out on a pedestal like you did with the Halo Master Chief collection, yep. and then you start re-releasing the old ones in higher HD, fidelity yeah. graphics, mm -hmm. uh, HD, whatever, like 4K, whatever you decided the mo most yeah. common uh, I... sweet-ass thing is that people buy now. Actually, what exactly. the fuck, Ubisoft? How have they not yet made Assassin's Creed 1 HD edition? I feel like they would have jumped on that one. Well, this is what I'm saying. They're course correcting at this point. Now that they know that maybe their future isn't paved in endlessly reiterating the same concept, they'll reiterate the same concept, but they'll do it in a different way. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I just can't wait for the new Assassin's Creed on the Sega Genesis. I'm really excited <laughs> about that. I can't wait for you the know, new Assassin's Creed MOBA if, that they're going to come out with If next they de-rezzed Assassin's Creed games and made them have a different gameplay style with a different graphic setting and ever, all of that's all different, I might be interested again. Yeah. 
That'd be interesting. Maybe. If they did... I don't know. Any of the thing. I, like... If they did any of the things. <laughs> I mean, like... Because what I felt when they did Assassin's Creed 1, it was really good. And it was really... It was really strong conceptually. Con it, like, the... The proof of concept was totally there. It was really strong. It, like, this had the potential to yeah. be really good. They went to 2... And they made a bunch of horizontal improvements, and they made a bunch of vertical improvements where the climbing felt better. And there, there's. Well, a bunch I don't want to go down this whole path. Yeah, again. I know. I know. Assassin's no. Creed talk. 20 no, times. I know. <laughs> but then, and then with three, we'll come back to the Assassin's Creed cast. <laughs> with three, they didn't fix anything, and in fact, they made some things worse. Where they took away the RT plus A, and then just made it just RT, so that the annoying climbing that happens sometimes, where you get stuck on the geometry, or like weird interactions happen where you can't press B or whatever, and you have to hold and weird shit they they made that worse by making it one button instead in the hopes to make it more simple for people they made it fucking way worse because you'd be running away and then and then all of a sudden yeah, like I oh know. i guess i'm climbing up on the side of this fucking Whoa. uh little thing here now and i'm dead Rob, all will be forgotten once they release this as a collection because as we all know when you put a bunch of games together <laughs> and sell them under one moniker they're now classic and yep. you have nothing but fond memories of them. That's true. This is what's happened every time when you release a big pile <laughs> of games together. All of a sudden, you can't possibly remember a single negative thing about them. So let's pay more money for the same game again. <laughs> you remember you remember in the PS2 days when I would go... Well, I mean, you would know because you, you worked at GameStop. But when I would go into GameStop, I would look at the PS2 section. And this is like late in the late in the generation. And like like every single one on the on the shelf would be like oh yeah this is a classic this is listed as a classic yeah. so we could charge it up another ten dollars i hated those because they had a red mark on the yeah. spine i wanted them to all be uniform in my library like the even ps1 had a green greatest hits uh, symbol on it Dude. and i just wanted my whole library to look the same and not have these big ugly things that say i paid less money for this cheap version of this game i like <laughs> yeah it, it looked so ugly too when it had that classic thing yeah yeah, I'm looking at my collection right now. I only have two, three greatest hits. Uh, Dark Cloud 1, Kingdom Hearts 1, and Jack 2. For some reason, I got Jack 1 and 3, not in greatest hits version. I'm not sure why that happened. <laughs> That's a bummer. Oh, yeah, and God Jack of War. 3. I didn't play Jack 1 or 2. I, just I didn't play Jack them 3. either. Jack 3 was real good, and I liked it. I didn't play any of them. I heard they were yeah, good. Jack is the worst one in the whole series. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, man, the other two must be real good then. <laughs> fucking, really like yeah, three. you'll fucking love Jack 1 and 2 if you play it then. <laughs> Jack 1's fantastic, man. Go back and play it. It still holds up, actually. Yeah. Go. I, just, I, I want to go back and play Ratchet and Clank again because I haven't played that in years. Oh, I, oh, I can that. be a hypocrite. Austin, you should go buy the Greatest Hits collection of Jack and Daxter <laughs> on your PS3. <laughs> See that? See what I did there? Because it's a bunch of great games bundled together for one low, low price. I think actually, uh, though, like, it, the, to, to, to take away my cynical thing, that I, I think, like, the Halo Master Chief collection, that actually does entice me because they, 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 they did reskin the, the original games, and I haven't played the original Halo in years, and I wouldn't mind seeing them. I just, I just want to be able to play Halo it. 2 online, but apparently, from what I'm hearing from Barry, you can't play that fucking game anymore. Yeah, I'm apparently, just it's right just now. broken. It's all yeah. just broken. Yeah, the main feature people bought bought it for just doesn't work. <laughs> you know? But you yeah. can play the game, though. You just can't play it online. Yeah. Theoretically, though. I, I, I just want to play Halo 2 online cool again. Idea. It's real fucking good. I, 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 I would like to go back through this, because I never actually played Halo 2. I, I played oh, through the Halo so 1. Oh, it's the best one, Halo. man. It's bad. It's so bad. Really? What? Halo 2 is the best one, you I nerd. I finished it the night it came out so they wouldn't spoil it for me at the fucking launch in the morning. It was <laughs> so bad. I about the single player, like man. Six about... hours. The, the, the campaign in Halo 2 is nuts, but Halo 3 campaign is amazing. Um, but uh, Halo 2 campaign is all right. Um... But uh, well, the Halo 2 multiplayer is fine. The it's multiplayer just, is amazing. It's fine. It's so good. It's passable. It's okay. Look, you can't. I think it. you're also you're probably looking back on it fondly because of the time period. Because if you remember, yes. Halo 2. This is the GoldenEye effect for me. If you said shit about GoldenEye because of my age, <laughs> I would have defended it. I know better now. Yeah. It's shitty. Well, because that's the thing too. Is like Halo 2 was like the first real working multiplayer console game and yes i know that there the were others system. i yeah i knew i know that there were others i know that but i mean like this is the first popular like 
multiplayer system on a console that that really worked and people really but got Rob, attached you to. Hook up your Dreamcast to another person's <laughs> yeah, Dreamcast right, exactly, using the yeah. Ethernet cable. Yeah, yeah, but but yeah, no, like that, so. I I think people always look back on Halo Two fondly because of that reason, and. And I'm not saying it's bad because I never played it, so I don't have any fucking clue. I, I, I don't think about, I'm but... roast tinting Halo 2. Like, I, 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 I roast in a lot of games, but I don't think Halo 2 is one of those. It's real good. The multiplayer yeah. is real uh, real balanced. It's real fun. It's real smooth. It's real yeah. good. I just it's want to not, play this It's story, not yeah. like the twitchy... It's like... I had an option to play Halo 2 or Call of Duty uh, 4. Uh, or no, it was actually Halo 3 or Call of Duty 4. And I played Halo 3. Pretty much nonstop, and Halo Two. I could have played Call of Duty Two, but nobody played the Call of Duty Two. But uh, the, um, Call of Halo Duty 2, Two is great. What are you talking about? Uh, Call of Duty was fun, but nobody played it online. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, the no, they did on the PC. Didn't work that well yet? On the, on no, the, yeah. Well, I, I didn't play it on the console, but I played it on the PC, and it was nobody. great on the PC. It, but no, Call of Duty Four was the big like first console one that was That's like when they put an emphasis on multiplayer. In it, Two, yeah. it was like it was in the game, but it just didn't really work that well. Yeah. Two had a great campaign. Even, even, yeah, the, even in even in even in uh, even on the PC, it was kind of like that too. Where it's like, like when when I was playing it on the PC, it was like, oh, this game's really fun, and it is it is really fun on the on on the multiplayer. But like, you have like six maps and no mod support, and I could just be playing Counter Strike. I'm just gonna go play Counter Strike instead. <laughs> so and that's that's generally what happened. But uh, mm -hmm. it was still, it was still cool. See, I don't yeah. like Counter Strike. Yeah, Me well, I grew up. I find Counter Strike, Strike to be Counter really Strike. unsatisfying. Like, uh, the, like it's I, hollow. There's like nothing to it. <laughs> I, I get, I get that you it's were competitive. Gonna get some angry comments over that. I, I, and I get that it's really balanced and really competitive and all that. But I don't know. Since I've been playing Dota and I see what like what balance and I just I, I, I in first person shooters I want it to be competitive but I want it to be more fun than it is competitive. Look, I don't want to play a game where I get shot in the first five seconds of the match and have to sit and watch it for another ten minutes. <laughs> That's not entertaining to me. Yeah. Well, I Halo I Two. Every time you got a kill on Halo Two is special. Every if, time. The, if your answer Every is kill. you're mad because you're bad, yes, that is why. I am mad because <laughs> I'm bad and I shouldn't play Counter-Strike, but then make it more accessible to me then. Yeah. It's just when I play Counter-Strike, I don't mean to make kill. it easier. It's just like, you know, like, oh, he's dead. All right. Counter-Strike was no... Again, this is another one of those things where it's like I am kind of wearing a little bit of rose-colored goggles and I, I totally uh, accept that. But, like, in those early days Donald of, like... Now? Well, yeah, whatever. But the, uh, the with the with the um, with, with the Counter Strike with the old Counter Strike, um, the thing is, you know, it was it was initially a mod for Half Life, and uh, it, 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 a couple things were cool about it because it was like, holy shit, that's a really cool mod, and then sec and then it was eventually picked up by Valve, and that's really cool as well. But then, um, but also like it was totally different from other other first person shooters that were multiplayer at the time because other first person shooters that were multiplayer on the, at the time were like kind of that quake like thing, right? Where it's really fast paced. I like and you that. Pick up you pick up weapons on the ground and you jump around and do all this cool stuff and like and, and that's fun. I, I like that too. But, the, but but Counter Strike was completely different. In fact, Counter Strike was kind of like the uh, the Call of Duty of its time in that like. It, like when I was young, it was like, oh man, this is like so real. Like this is fucking. This is where we're using real guns, and it feels cool. And, and then, and then, as you play more, you find out all the cool little tricks and stuff that you can do that I think everybody loves in competitive games altogether. I mean, you know, Dota, Halo type stuff. You know, little bugs that you can exploit, little things that you can uh, oh, fuck dude, around Halo with. Oh, dude, Yeah, w ways that you can move around the map and and sit in places. Ways that you... actually, I think I've talked about this even on Magic, but uh, smoke grenades. They're so weird to me in Counter-Strike Global Offensive because I played so much 1.5 and 1.6 of Counter-Strike. Um, and Global Offensive, smoke grenades are super important. Like, it, it, like it, if you watch a competitive match, smoke grenades are super important. I mean, they were in competitive Counter-Strike back in the day, too. But that was because they had rules. Because in 1.5 and 1.6... Your head's going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> you just talk so fast. <laughs> I'm trying to get through the point really quickly. But, like, in 1.5 and 1.6... If you use the smoke grenade, all, literally all you had to do is go into the options and turn off, uh, I think, OpenGL rendering, and uh, the smoke just wouldn't render. So no one ever used smoke grenades because they didn't actually do anything because they wouldn't render the smoke. Fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah. But everybody did that. So, like, it was... And That's it, terrible. It, it didn't sacrifice the quality either. So if you're just playing pubs on Counter-Strike... You would never buy a smoker. There's no reason to buy a smoke grenade. What you're doing is anybody who doesn't know that is all of a sudden not in the cool kids club and gets killed. 
That's that's yeah, that's true. That's stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it, it was, but that was that was how it was, and they never patched it and fixed it either. <laughs> See, yeah. I came from the like Quake and Doom and Half Life theory of how deathmatch works. It's supposed to be chaotic. It's supposed to be frantic. It's supposed to never really have rules other than just try and survive as long as possible. And I don't think there is really a hugely high skill tree for games like that or skill ceiling. It's just, just have fun. Just dick around. Well, there's I always that one tryhard that just kills everybody. I don't right. want to play in the game with him. <laughs> and that's when I eventually stopped playing those style games because everybody got too good. Yeah. So, bad because bad. Yeah, I get you. I get you. But I really enjoy the Unreal Tournament, the Quake style stuff. I actually was pretty big into like making maps for that stuff. And, you know, as far as multiplayer gaming goes, that's kind of where I got my start is playing deathmatch games a lot. Right. And I just didn't really stick with that for too long because it turned into a competitive scene. Right. And it seems that whenever people get too competitive, I just don't want to hang out in that space anymore. Same goes for fighting games. I play Blaze Blue a lot. I don't like to play it competitively because people get pissed off at you when you do too bad or too good. You know, I just want to play the game and have a fun time. Why is that such a hard thing to find? I totally agree, actually. Like, fighting games, I can't, like, play them on stream or anything. It's actually funny. I, I, I Man vs. Game on Twitch used to do, like, a fighting game stream every week. And he eventually just stopped because people got way too salty. Like, he was just playing it because he likes fighting games. But yeah. people got way too this salty. This is why we don't do fighting games on the NLSS. We don't want to deal with that kind of shit. Yeah, that's it's totally so ugly. Fair. Yeah. Yeah, it's totally fair. Yeah, I, I totally get it. <laughs> yeah, no, I, yeah. Uh, I, I, well, hey, by the way, Nick, if yeah. you like map making and you like those deathmatch, quick pick up weapons, all that kind of stuff, there's this game that's being made by uh, uh, James Too Good Harding, who is a James is making a video game. Yeah, he's uh, so he's an esports personality. He's been around esports for a long time. But um, anyway, they're is it the one this... where you make blocks like Minecraft and make a deathmatch level out of it. Uh, yeah, well, that's actually kind of how their engine works, yeah, but, um... I think I've played it already. <laughs> no, you, you can't play it yet. It's not, oh. it's not available to be played, but, okay. but it, but, 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 yeah, the, 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 the editor actually works like that, except, um, they built the engine from the ground up to be, to, to make maps and stuff, to have a map editor, so they do it that way, but you can also carve the blocks as well, and they'll have full collision, um, so you can make whatever, th anything that you actually want, but the base level stuff is, is like block stuff so that it's easy to use, um, okay. essentially. And, uh, and it's, it's basically, it's a love letter to all those old Quake style games and it's built for, from the ground up to be a fun multiplayer experience because he's making it with competitive players from like Quake and stuff, uh, who are saying like, what are the things that they did wrong on this and what are the things and stuff like yeah. that. So it, it, it seems pretty cool. So. I think in like terms that. of how the progression went, it's just an era that's ended for me. I'm not sure it's a thing that I could get back into just because people are so quick to min-max everything and I'm just not interested in that kind of play. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I'm just I know casual for life. <laughs> you might, well, it, it's super early right now, so, you know, you're not going to get to play it for like no, probably it's... another two years, but if if it does come out, maybe you'll maybe It's a mentality, though. It's I just the fact mean. that as soon as it exists, there will be those people now, whereas when I played those yeah. games, they didn't exactly always exist at that time. Right. There were just people that just joined the game to say, oh, this is a novelty, let's just shoot each other for a while. Yeah. And that was fun. Some of them were slightly better, some of them were slightly worse, but there wasn't that guy mm. all the time. Sometimes there was, not always. Yeah. And now there's always that guy in every game you play. Yeah, even Isaac. And if you're not that guy, eventually you start getting ousted from the community, which yeah. is not cool either. Yep. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I think Dota is my one competitive game that I'm just going to play as my competitive yep. game. I agree. I don't want any more. That... People are like, oh, you should try League. Oh, you should try... No. No. I don't... You should I... try League. Like, for the same reasons that like Nick Overwatch. doesn't like competitive... The, the same reason that Nick doesn't like competitive games altogether... I'm the same way, except I just want the one. I want the one in my life. I can be competitive with that. And all other games are played purely and simply for fun. I don't want to be competitive in anything else because it just it grinds at you, man. 
It's, you know, uh, actually, I have my one too, and you know what it is? It's Magic the Gathering 2015. <laughs> hey, that's my competitive sport. And that's where we end. Yeah, we're actually at an hour and 48 minutes, so this oh, is. Did a we new break record. the record? Yeah, this we is a new it. record. New record. This is Crazy record, record, boys. Record, boys. All of the all of the comments should all be record, boys. If you actually, if you if you got to this point, record, boys, in all of the comments. So uh, with spaces, of course. Yeah, so uh, spaces in between each letter and they have to be capitalized yeah of course of course course. record boys record boys all right (laughs) fun everybody thanks for watching we have new episodes every mondays and fridays on both uh, mine and nick's channels and sometimes if we have guests on they'll be on their channel as well uh so be sure to check back there bye guys goodbye later Mm -hmm. is el packer patrol signing out peace fools